Yo, it's your boy R.E.B. Rebecca is bringing you the HH Show on Rage Lab 97.1 FM. Technically, I was going to say my co host, but technically, you're the coast today, bro. Get me big walls, you know who it is. I'm not doing the whole blue thing. I'm yeah, you done half of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. you might as well do it just because you've done it half hard. Nah, 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 nah. Alright, cool, cool. And obviously, you've got another. You're not even a guest today, you're co host as well. What's going on? It's a CHI's Chino in the building. Wild well, going. Yeah, yeah. So, like. Today, today it's different today. Like, I've been, I've been asked spare times in like the last like two years to do my interview, um, and obviously I, I, I was always questioning like who wasn't going to interview me. But then today I like I brought Warsi, I brought in Wars, got Chino, because obviously you cover two different aspects of me musically, like Chino at the beginning, absolutely, and Wars. Obviously, you know my personal current problems of today. Yes. So you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a good mix. So obviously today I'm the one in the hot seat. Um and yeah. I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit worried. How are you feeling about this? How are you feeling? You know what? I'm not I, I know you I don't kinda of, I expect I kinda of expect to know what kind of questions you're gonna drop. You might drop some I don't like you know what I'm saying? But this one here <laughs> I know he's a wind up merchant isn't it? Yeah and because I'm on camera he's gonna try and like He's gonna try and set me up, innit? He's gonna try and set me up for something. Nah, nah, we'll be too bad, bro. We'll be too we'll bad. We'll go easy. We'll easy. Well, trust me. So, yeah, man. So, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna start this. I've never started off my own interview before. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think Gino should start it off, innit? Because obviously he knows you from your early days. You know? You know? When, uh, I was gonna say when I didn't have a beard, but I always had a beard, innit? You've always had a beard. I always had a beard. From 13 and that. Man, I was right. jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, nah, basically, like, you got a lot of fans, man. You've done really well. So, like, let's start from the get go. I'm gonna ask you just a simple question: like, how did you get started? In your own words, how did you get started? What it like musically? Uh, that would be obviously for the people that don't know the story. That would be through you. Um, I remember the day actually um, with the man that's holding the camera right now, Trevor as well. Um, big old Trevor, man. Oh, tight Trevor. I don't know if you remember, but we were in town. Um, I think we'll do like not an all nighter, but we were in town like late at night, late at night. Um, and um, I remember we were at cinema. We weren't watching the film. We we're just walking. You know, you know, it's like in the ages. We just walk around in it. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. Just chilling, talking. Mm. And he, um, this guy was just like, I think a few weeks previous to, to us walking in town, this man he messaged me on MSN, MSN, you know. Messaged oh, school. Me. That's what I said. But I got a sick Jeez. memory. My memory's sick, yeah. And he messaged me in it, and he, I remember he said to me, he goes. Yo, you, you should rap. You look like a rapper. Oh, tight ribs. Man said you look like a rapper, innit? So, uh, what well, I mean, you go home and write some bars. <laughs> nah, this nah, is nah, true nah. stories. The guy nah. looked like a rapper, man. It, it yeah. Was, yeah, it you was, just looked like him. Well, more, more of an American rapper back then. Yeah, yeah for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the hot ish back then. You so, know what I mean? Yeah, he just MSM means that you look like a rapper. Also, I knew she was doing music. Back then, bro, like, no one was really doing music, innit? It wasn't mm. a thing, so. Yeah, so obviously, anyway, he said you look like a rapper. I don't think nothing of it. Like, it wasn't like, oh, we're gonna make music now. But then, obviously, like I said, we we're in town. Uh, me, you know, Trevor, and then I don't know what happened. And then we were thinking of rap names. And uh, I remember, I think I think you came up, we came up with Rebel, wasn't it? It was originally Rebel. But there was already a Rebel in Luton at the time. Okay, mm. so for a little while, you was known as Rebel? Nah, nah, but like, even that day. Like, uh, like, we started off with Rebel for maybe like an hour. Okay. So like, you know, I was like, nah, there's somebody else called Rebel. I was like, I need to add on to it. We were just thinking of names, you know, like yeah. trying to mark it. I think of thinking of something. Something yeah. different and no one has not that. So then I added, I added the actual use on to Rebellious. Obviously, it'll change yeah. the spelling, of course. You know, back yeah. then as well, everyone knows spelled anything correctly. Mm. Um, and then Trevor had the name as well. <laughs> what, what, Trevor had bars? Or you, you just had a name, just a tag name randomly? I, I don't really want to get into that, innit? Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get into that. Let's get into it. Like, yeah. Trevor, Trevor can't talk right now, right now innit? Like, or maybe Trevor it. comes on after, we can get into Trevor, innit? Okay. But, but I will tell you Trevor's name, and we came up with Snowman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was his face? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what was his face? Old snowman. And then we went back to my yard and we, yeah. uh, uh, Chino helped us write bars. And um, we were recording it on like dead Samsung, you know, a voice recorder with like instrumental on the PC. D500. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think it probably was a D500. <laughs> Bruh, it was oh, a D500. Yeah. Bruh. Oh, way back, way back. Yeah, man, I'm not like, it was dead. It was dead, it was dead for time. Um, I remember Chino was just doing like, bear. it was back then he was doing like carnival. Mm. Uh, shows, all that kind of stuff. And I remember 
just starting off, innit? Just starting off, and I remember there were some other guys that um, used to spit on um, the same era as us. What was it uh, Chancey, innit? Mm -hmm. It was Chancey, and um, you know back then, innit? You like you start rapping, you well, let's send, let's send, let's send, like send for anyone, innit? Yeah. And then that caused a whole bunch of commotion. What so? You you got into a lot of clashes or people sent for you back then or? Yeah, we straight away, it happened from the get-go. Uh, me and Chino made a song. Early, yeah, it started early with about, the clashes. About this group uh, from uh, the same area. They sent back. Mm. Um, and the thing was, we were always in the same area. Like, he would be with me, we'd be playing football. They'll see us playing football, they'll come out the cage and they'll like, it'll kick off, innit? Oh. But you know what I liked about Rebellious? Musically, early, mm. he was ballsy from early. You know what I mean? He was aggressive. Was stupid. He was like, you know what? If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go for the best straight away, even when he was a rookie. Mm. And that just showed that, you know what I mean? His confidence, that confidence. And he's still got that to this day, you know? I remember um, they were like, I remember outside the cage, you know, like, spit bars, spit bars. I was fam, I think I, at that time I wrote like two sixteens ever. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember I looked at uh, Chino, innit? Yeah, uh, and he, start, he he stepped in and started spitting, innit? Because he knew, innit? I was F. Had to back him up. He knew I was <laughs> F, innit? He knew I was F, man. There was no, I had no bars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I but yeah, that's kind of like originally mm. outside. How long were we talking, by the way? <sighs> Eleven years. Eleven years ago. Yeah, man. Wow. I know. Over a decade. Yeah, it's over a decade. Over a decade in the game, B. So like that's kind of how it started originally, man. Like literally just from walking in town, you know, like a rapper, mm. and then that's one day writing bars, and then from there. So when you started writing bars, was you like how you are today? Was you like doing the whole like commercial sound stuff, pop stuff, or was you just nah, nah, grind back it was then? grind back then. Okay. Everybody was doing grime. I was doing grime as well. So um, when did you start changing and start becoming like more on the pop vibe or R and B vibes and that? Uh, that would be when I met Igniter. Okay. Um, Met Igniter. Uh, big up Igniter still. Big up Igniter. Yeah, guys, nothing but love for Igniter, man. He's, yeah, that's the guy. I think if anyone, if I could look up to anyone in Luton, I'll say this all the time, it's Leo and Igniter. Mm -hmm. Like, their mind is, is like. Their mind's something else. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you see how we get, like. I'm quite strong to it. I'm quite strong. You know, when people call at me, I'm quite. You see how I'm liking it? It just like, yeah. goes over my head, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't get caught in the street stuff. Sometimes I do, I can't help it. See, them, they're fully business. Fully business, and I try to stay like that. Um, it's like they're really, really mentally strong. I'm mentally strong, but sometimes I do get caught into like some like sticky hype. situations. Huh? Yeah, the hype. Yeah, I do get caught up in the hype sometimes. I try not to though. But um, yeah, I'll say it was it was Igniter. They obviously saw Rhymers. Um, but how how deep was that into you like doing the whole music thing? How many years? Uh, if I started in, when I was 18, bro, that'd have been 2006. Uh, Ignite, I came around like 2010. Okay. 2000. So like four years in. Yeah. Bro, you started when you was 18. Yeah, yeah but bro. Ignite was doing this thing from early. Like, yeah, Ignite friction. was from 04 with me. And okay. like, Ignite, like way before Nang TV. I and mean, then Nang TV popped off about 06. Yeah. And, uh, I knew Ignite was about from early because like, early. when I was young, I used to listen to like Dazzle and Tay and all of them, man. Jeez. And it was used to Whole say pick up Ignite. Yeah. Yeah. Ignite was just like a pioneer, bro. Like, you, talk, you, like the friction website until it like kicked off and everyone's causing beef. It's like, like, it's he's like, done it to like unite the town. Yeah. Do you know yeah. What? He always does yeah. that to try and unite the town. 100%. And like uh, to be fair to Ignite, I, like, I credit him for doing it. But I wouldn't waste enough. Time. Did he have like the only studio going at one point? The, the best studio. Was yeah, it's because this is the best. Yeah, the best studio. Oh, okay. Him and Leo had the studio, yeah. innit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, shit. I remember when I had a chance to record with Ignite when he gave me the call and it was like, you know, it was a big thing back then. When Ignite called you, you know, like how Dr. J would call a man, like in, in the commercial real world, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was like that in the ends, you know what I mean? So, like, hold tight, Ignite. Yeah, 100%, man. I've got nothing but respect for Ignite. Even now, I don't really respect a lot of people, but Ignite is one of them. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, man, I guess that's how I started. That's how you started, that's so. I'll, 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 let, I'll let you one of you, man, ask. Mm. So who who was your first collaboration with, yeah? And why? It was with you, it was with you, obviously. You know, <laughs> 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 you know Gina's, Gina's like, after the first collaboration. I don't remember. So what was your first song about? It was after, with you, bro. <laughs> after that, after that, after that. Now, nah, obviously, my first one's with you, with you, fam. Remember, we done the, uh, the voyages, fam. Oh, Blood, go get it twisted, yeah, get shanked. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 um, yeah, but yeah, they're with you. Yeah. Everything was with you at the beginning because, mm. obviously, like I said, you're doing, you're doing stuff that other people weren't doing. And like I said, music's not, back then wasn't the way it is now, where everyone, like, like John from, like, Cross the Road makes music now, you know what I'm saying? Mm. 
know what I'm saying? Back then, that didn't happen. Like, I've got a good question. Back then, what did you prefer back then? Did you prefer grime or the commercial avenue that it was back then? I didn't do commercial music back then, so I didn't think about it. So commercial music to me just didn't exist. Mm. Like obviously I listened to R&B, but obviously because you done grime, uh, Wizzy, as a little boy back then, done grime, I was all around you two. Mm. So obviously, you know, like I'm hearing your, you know, that eight minutes and cynical, remember? Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That cynical. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying there was that. So obviously everything was grime. Yeah, obviously, yeah, it was. and obviously I was in, it was in Lucy Farm. Yeah, and yeah, obviously yeah. I'd always hear. Um, trouble with I, I won't name the groups the other groups from Lucy Farm so everything was growing because everybody was sending for each other 100% so I, I, I couldn't get away from it when did you start doing videos? Uh, that's a good question that's a good question actually I don't even know who my first video was bro Trip, do you know? nah I think it's his bank expression I think man nah bro like bro those I know what my first Nang TV video was um yeah. huh? I said, yeah, yeah. My first Nang TV one was a uh, Don't Cry with an American singer called Cutty Lou from America. But that was like 2010. Because even back then, when we were doing music, like at the beginning, no one done music videos. Because like, no one had a camera. Mm. And even then, bro, like, back then people would record videos on their phone, like the camera phone. Yeah. Like, think about, um, like, Slew them. Bro, yeah. have you seen um, On The Block? Yeah. That's yeah. on their camera phone. Yeah. It's like two megapixels. Do you know what I'm saying? Like none of us, that like, there was none of these fancy HD cameras. H HD didn't even exist. In fact, YouTube did, uh, did, was he, was YouTube even about? Yeah, MySpace, YouTube, MySpace, yeah MySpace, there wasn't MySpace. a YouTube, bruv. So is that what you did with all your songs, MySpace? Yeah, MySpace, yeah, MySpace. We put, we put them on MySpace early. It was one of them ones, like, and they'd obviously done his thing and like flowed with it. Yeah, but MySpace was the platform back then. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it was MySpace. Yeah. There was no YouTube, that's it, that's my switch. It's weird, isn't it, mm. to think about now? Yeah, How crazy is that? Before yeah. YouTube, the guys are all G for like oh, And yeah. that's another thing as well. Before YouTube, you had to do everything through word of mouth. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Mm, there was tapes. Yeah, no, CDs. no, no Facebook, bro. Oh. None of that stuff. Yeah, the struggle was real. Yeah, you know what it was? The struggle was kind of real, but everybody knew each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was more offended. Like, everybody knew who everybody was. Obviously, I was coming up, so it did, that didn't really apply to me. You know what I'm saying? But everybody knew Chino was back then. Everybody knew Wiz was. B. A, like, Berettas. But they, these people all known. Uh, who's the other t uh, group that hit, um, we didn't get on with? Uh, Munich Flows. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'd, um, I think at that time, it was, half of me, it, it was already half of me to come up. It was, uh, it was, it was difficult. It was very difficult. There was a lot of competition back then. Lot there was. I had, lot, I had a lot of beef with like, these artists as well. Um, I don't think it was musically, I think it was through other stuff. Yeah. Okay. So like what? Like other stuff like what? College, just college. Oh, okay. Um, college stuff and I bump into him and I go, yo, that's that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what's his name? What's his, what's his name now? Young Kai. I got into, I got into, Kai. yeah. Hold tight, hold tight, Young Kai. I got into so. trouble with him and sit to him. All right, that's interesting. You want to talk about that? That's interesting. Just you staring at each other. It's literally, you know, back, you know what it's like back then, you can't stare at someone. Yeah. You stare at someone for too long, like that yeah. doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. But if you stare at someone like back then, if you stare at someone for like five seconds, it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll yeah. kick yeah. off all the time. Yeah. And I didn't let anyone stare at me. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know why, because like, probably half his man could have tucked me in. You know, I was skinny as anything. I, I was scared of violence, bro. Scared of getting hit in the face. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, and I remember, I didn't know who he was, and I remember I saw him, we were just staring at each other. Then he walked off, and then the sixth room, like uh, one day he's called me over. All those boys and stuff, and like there was a problem, but then we agreed, didn't it? Like, um, we both didn't want to get kicked out of college, so like, squash you there. Um, and then there was another guy in Unique Flows, um, I think the same thing, staring at each other, you know. What I'm so it wasn't through music, but they these guys were musicians that like, unluckily came out of the Did you feel like that gave you fire and ambition? Like, you knew at the time that they were like musicians and they're obviously on a big scale as you are now. Did you feel back then that gave you that energy, that fire to say, you know what, I'm coming up? Nah, bro, you know what, that's not what, what gave me the fire to, to, to come up. Like, stuff like bumping into people, staring at me, like, that, that stuff didn't matter to me. Yeah, what gave me the fire was, like, when I first started, I was like, I was, I was, you know, I was nice to everybody. Yeah. I was humble to everybody, like, humble to everyone. If you made music, I was humble to you. Like, I would be just, ha I would, I would have been just happy if you just did. let's take a like, time to listen to my song. If you gave me feedback, so be it. Like, well, but you know what it was like. Though I acted that way, everyone, yeah. everyone would be like rude, disrespectful, even racist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So obviously, when that happens to you, when you've been completely nice, and I, brought, I was completely nice to everybody, then obviously, my, the way I am now kicked in. 
So obviously I was like, all right, cool. Like, you don't want to be the That's fine, you don't have to. Mm. But obviously the disrespect was there. So I thought, all right, I'm going to work hard in everybody. Once I work hard in everybody, and then I'm going to throw it in everyone's face. And obviously that's okay, what I did. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I guess to this day now, like, like rappers do ask me for collabs that back in the day were part of me. So obviously I'm just like, obviously I just don't reply, but um, yeah, man, it's just weird, isn't it? And that was my mentality for a long time. So I was, I was, I was I'm not, I was doing it not. Um, Is it like, do you think commercial music took you to the next level though? Because you used to do grime a lot and then you went commercial and then like suddenly now you got like a massive following and stuff. So do you think it took you to the next level? Yeah, 100%. But that's, I think that's how Soul Rhymers. I think Soul Rhymers kind of took me to the next level. How? Um, because obviously it's recording at Igniters. Like Igniter was like, like give me pointers and stuff, but I was just okay. Um, then obviously Soul Rhymers came along. Um, I see at the time when Soul Rhymers came along again, like 2010 ish, whatever, people weren't doing their own headline shows. And I'm not talking, no disrespect to people that do like gigs at Carnival Arts Center or Hack Factory, you know what I'm saying? But they were doing headline shows in clubs, do you know what I'm saying? They were already on Channel AK at the time. But back then that was hard, you know what I'm saying? That was hard stuff to do. Um, they were on Channel AK, they were already on BBC at that time. And I'm just like, and these guys took me in. And they took me to their first, um, I, I don't think they even knew it for that long. Um, and they took me to, they said I'll come and do a show with us. I don't know how it all clicked, but I did. And I remember I went to their show and bro, it was a club with like 500 people in there. Now, I don't know, like imagine 500 people in front of you. Yeah. Now imagine that in a, in a, in a, in a club. That's yeah, packed, that's lot, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's capacity. Bro. Yeah, and I had to wait, I had to wait in the basement, which was downstairs. So I know I was on the last song. Um, and I remember they called me up, and bro, when you walk through, I was scared, bro. And because obviously for my first gig, like, I should be doing the Hat Factory. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, give me, you, I need to get used to this kind of stuff. Give me, not pub gig, no disrespect to people that do pub gigs. Yeah, yeah. But like, um, that's probably my ego talking. But like, um, yeah, but I should, probably should have been doing the Hat Factory, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe like 50, 60 people. Because you put 50, 60 people in there, it will look, it will look packed out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, when it had that many people, Bro, like I wasn't ready for that. Um, and you know what's weird? I done that and my second gig was in a hot core ring. Your second gig was in hot core ring? <laughs> yeah, my second gig was in hot core ring. How was your second gig in hot core ring? Dead. It was dead. I was confused <laughs> because. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like 10 people. Yeah, like 10 people. Yeah, bro, it was there, yeah, 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 What song did you perform? The same ones I done at uh, the club. I done Remember and uh, Bring Me Down. And um, I was confused because I was like, I just done 500 people. And because that was my first one ever, to me, all my gigs should be 500 people. Mm. Or, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, when yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah. wow, what? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, what's yeah. going on here? Obviously, and obviously, kind of how I met my future girlfriend at that time, because I met her at that gig. Um, future girlfriend? Huh? You say your future girlfriend? Yeah, at that time, she was my girlfriend at the time. What girl's that? That's it, huh? No, no, not my future <laughs> girlfriend now. Oh, 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 the one I just broke up with. Who? You know? Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? Uh, you're related to her. No, no. I'm, not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost. Wait, so for, the, for the viewers that are going to be listening, like, what are we yeah. talking about? Uh, that Zoe. Um, I met Zoe. Uh, it, was, it was at that gig, innit? Yeah, it was Zoe at the um, at that gig. Oh, Zoe. So like after that gig, yeah, did you not start like talking? You started talking. Did you? Is, is that when you started doing like you nah. managed to do your first collab and stuff with her? Yeah, because you collabed with Zoe quite a bit. <laughs> I see it, I do some research, I see a lot of songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah and they were good songs. <laughs> yeah. Trust I'm gonna be honest music. right now, like call a spade the spade, there were some good songs. Uh <laughs> 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 Yeah, like um I, I think that gig was in like summer. Um I asked the organizer who's that girl, she was a six singer. Um mm. and I was like, yo, like I want I wanna work with that person, can you get me in contact? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, she never did. Never happened. And then one day, like literally like six months later, I was on Facebook and this picture came up, you know, add friends. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. that's the girl at the gig. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's yeah. the girl at the gig. I was like, I want a club with her. So, yeah, huh? yeah, anyways, Karen, uh, Karen. yeah, so I messaged her and I was like, um, yeah, I wanted to collab with you. And she's like, yeah, the organizer did tell her mum that someone wanted to collab with her, but they never said who. Mm. So all she knew was a song with the cab, but they didn't know who. And she's like, oh yeah, you're Soul Rhymers. I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, I'm not Soul Rhymers. I was like, I was on stage with them, but I'm not. And then um, 
yeah, obviously from that, uh, I guess a, a relationship happened. A relationship happened. Somehow, but I will make it clear. I just wanted to collab. You just wanted to collab. Yeah, at the time. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was my second gig, and then my third gig was um, actually on Black Black. Was it Black History Day month? Black History Month. Black History Month. Black History. Yeah, and that was with the Lovettes from X Factor. And again, so I've gone from 500 to five, like to like 10 people in the hot ring, to now um, it's um, it was like a posh hall with like chandeliers and stuff, all these fancy tables packed out. That's a wicked question of night. Like how, I mean, everyone knows how quick you just rose and like that hard work, that effort you put in. How did you end up collaborating with the Lovettes? Like how, like how the hell did that happen? Um, again, uh, Soul Rammers. Soul Rammers are, are like practically an answer to like most of my early like stuff that I've done well. Um, I've done a song called Remember, which is what I've done in the club and hot ring. And then um, we needed a girl for the video. Leo was close with this girl called Shana, who's mm -hmm. part of the Lovettes. She went to university here. Yeah. Um, so she done the video. Me and her didn't even get on that day. I told her I hated her. Um, she, she annoyed me. You know what I'm like, innit? <laughs> if I don't like you, I, like, I say it. Yeah. Um, and we what didn't get- What did you get... like about her? What did you like about her? What was that? Okay, was Shana that knows I love her, innit? Shana knows I love her. Yeah. But obviously, I felt, yeah, like, yeah. I felt like that day she, she, was, she was a diva. So obviously, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was getting annoyed. Yeah. I was getting frustrated. It was a long video shoot. Um, I wouldn't tell and that I was rude. I was rude, um, but she was just winding me up. Um, I don't know what the hell happened because we didn't get on that day, mm. and then we somehow agreed to make a song together. And obviously, all I knew was they were an X Factor. Now you could be an X Factor and flop. You could be an X Factor went out first thing. I didn't know they went to the judge's house. I didn't know they made it that far. They did really well, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They went to the judge's house on YouTube and everything. I was just like, raw. They got a wicked song called Never Forget Me, and that's one of my favorite songs. I love it. Right there. Sugar. Yeah, big up that song. Big up, big, I love it. Yeah. Make me look bad, bro. Like, yeah, but look it up on YouTube. Um, but yeah, like, so you know what it was. I think it happened quickly with just people you know, innit? Yeah, and like, it happened very quickly. But I say, like I said, I done that gig, chandeliers, packed out, rammed. It was a posh. It was a posh crowd. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was posh in. Uh, what was it, what's that? Letchworth. So I don't have yeah, Letchworth. Yeah, posh yeah, players. So yeah, went back to that, packed again. So yeah, it was really up and down. It was like packed, talk ring, packed again. So I'd rather, I just assumed that's the way it was always gonna be. What was your like favorite audience that you performed in like, back then? The more conservative kind of audience, like popish audience, or the more kind of street grindish audience? Nah, it's not a street grind audience because probably most of them were enemies, bro. <laughs> you know the ones when you walk into it and it's like, ah. Yeah. I always think like things will pop off. So if I had done a gig here, I'd make sure I was with people. Because I assume that's I assume something's gonna pop off. It was always it was the two it was the two of them we saw around was, um, the one in um, um, Kettering, and then I went to Mansfield, and uh, bro, like literally as soon as I finished the gig, got Mansfield. yeah, like Nottingham near Nottinghamshire or something. Isn't it? And again, packed again. Like that night, my ears were done. Like I couldn't even hear. Yeah. And, and the, I remember after I finished my like um, performing, some girl came up to me, bro. And she like, put her head in my chest and I like, just sniffed. She went, <laughs> I remember when she done it, yeah? I looked around. She smelled the sauce, man. Bro, I was confused. She probably smelled body odor. It was boiling. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> sauce, yeah I mean, bro, she put her head, like, she was saying that and she put her head in my chest and started like, smelling. And I obviously, I was just like, I was looking like, can anyone like, see what's going on? This is not normal behavior. Yeah, yeah. And then she walked off. Uh, what do you make it, fam? Uh, That's mad. It was, it, Maybe she was just strong, bro. I, I definitely don't serve alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? For the sake of it, sure. It's to to to, ex to like logically explain the behaviour. Yeah, let's say she was drunk. Let's smell the sauce. Awesome, man. It's a boy. So yeah, man. I don't know how we got into all this. <laughs> what? What are you, what are you got? Geez? I'm thinking, man. Um, he's, he's gonna he's gonna drop me. Uh, no, I know he's gonna <laughs> drop me some clangers, man. No, I'm I'm thinking. Right, any questions, bro? On your minutes. journey in that year. Huh? Twenty four minutes. What in yeah? Nah, calm, bro. On your journey and that yeah, you've generated like you've got a lot of love I see in it, but you've got a lot of hate in it. And I see yeah, that some people think that like you fake views and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Such as like I'll say a recent one, like Lil Maisie. Lil Brav. I tried to send for you recently saying that like, you fake your views and that. Like, what all you got to say for that? You know what it is? Cause it's because it's because the um, unlisted video. We know the situation in it. Yeah, explain it for the people that don't. That don't know this. All right, cool. 
basically on YouTube. And by the way, you'll see this on my next video, which will be out probably tomorrow. Okay. But by then, that'll be out before this comes out, so that's relevant. Yeah. Um, basically on YouTube, there's um, public, unlisted, and private. Mm. Now, for people that upload YouTube videos, a lot of them will go on public and just put it out on zero views, right? Mm. Now, obviously, me and you don't do that. Um, so obviously, I showed you what I do. Yeah. What I, what we do is, um, when you go on private, no one caught your video. But when you put it on as um, unless so say, I uploaded a video on YouTube uh, 12 months ago, I've got it unlisted. Um, I can promote that video for a year, and um, that could be on 10k. Now that video is still unreleased, so I can be like towards AO fam. I'm releasing that video in one minute. Yeah. And then all our changes for unlisted to published. Once you change it to published, it will say whatever today's date is, released yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And, but then it will say release now, 10K. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get that. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and obviously yeah. um, that's what he saw, innit? Yeah. yeah. And um, he was just like, how is that humanly possible? And obviously seeing it the way he saw it, yeah. I would have said the exact same thing. Right. But obviously Wars knows, because I've done it with, that sounded a bit dodgy. <laughs> Wars knows, because he's been here when I've done it. Yeah. He was been there when I've done it yeah. um, on, on YouTube, so he does the same thing. Um, that's sick, that's but sick. I'll be real. That's sick, that's sick. When I see him, I am going to smash his face in. Like there's, there, he, he's dead. He's a dead man. Like, on air. but I will say on air because the thing is, this is the thing. When you call me out, I will not respond to you publicly. As in, I will not entertain all the Facebook stuff, but I will break your jaw. Like, who, I, who is this? No, you call me out, and then you're attacking me as a person. You know, what I'm it's just like someone calling me out in the street. You call me out in the street, then obviously we must have a problem. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got two fantastic questions in my opinion. Yeah, one of them is, do you feel like you're the Takeshi Six Nine of looting in certain ways? Nah, oh, fam, that guy takes them. He takes it too far, bro. And, yeah, and then the second one would be like, do you calculate who you send back for? Because you know a lot of people are trying to clout chase nowadays. Yeah? No, bro. And a lot of people are trying to clout chase. Do you? Obviously, acid sent for me on uh, Jamrocks and for me Ignite and M's. You know what, I didn't even take it as an offense. Like, I don't, I don't like Acid, but he's a good artist. Mm. Yo, he's a good artist, let's be real. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna, yeah. like, this is the thing. Like, I can yeah. I can separate my personal feelings from Satin and then tell me, and still say if they're good or not, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Acid is a good artist. Now, he sent for me, I didn't take it as an offense. You know what I'm saying it? But I'm not, I'm not stupid enough to pro, like, send back because obviously I know it will catch on, which then will do him the world of good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with him. If, you want, if, if there was a problem, then I don't mind there being a problem because I've got people that are about me. Do you know what I'm saying? So that, that stuff don't, that's, that's why that stuff don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I've seen him plenty of times. He's never said anything, nothing's been said, so I assume it's not a problem. But um, someone, like Ash is sending for me, that's fine. He's a good artist. I don't mind that. Okay. You know, Maisie's sending for me, brother, you silly. Like, why do you want to die? Like, you know what I'm saying? And also, like, you keep, like, you're, you, you're trying to prod because you'll you're, you're keep doing it. So, you obviously, you must have, like, a personal thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not mute. Yeah. You must have a personal view. And there's been, there's been bare rappers that have sent for me. And I haven't responded to any of them. So, like, um... I feel he only done it for attention anyway. He did. But the thing is, he doesn't, like, you know, him and his brother, like, what, what do they think is going to happen? What, do you think when I see you in town, like, you're going to get to walk on? Of course you're not. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Yeah, what next, next subject? Yeah, what's that what the next subject was, man? I see Ooh. you like to like um do a lot of collabs with mixed race girls. You are quite that, you know. <laughs> wow. Do you, do you have an obsession with mixed race girls? All time mixed race girls. Well, so. I don't really see any like um collabs with any black girls or. Uh, white girls. Like, it's, always, it's always mixed race girls, bro. She's so got a bit of colour. This guy! Old time chocolate. This guy! This guy! This guy! This guy! I know! I didn't expect that question! I'll be real! Wow! I, I feel racist! Nah, nah, no, no, it's not racist. Nah, nah, I'm saying. Nah, nah! I've done this song with white black girls. Yeah, but it's mainly mixed race. There's a predominant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, but first off, Aisha was mixed race. That was my girlfriend. So when I made songs of her, that's just through. A girlfriend. Okay. Um, also broke up with Aisha, then Zoe became my girlfriend. So <laughs> I'm making songs with my girlfriend. The Levettes came through Soul Rhymers, the mixed race. What can I do about that? Mm -hmm. El Sadie, mixed race. That came through. Uh, I think that came through Soul Rhymers. Alright. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what about Samora? 
Oh yeah, okay, to be fair, Samara, I, I, I am... Um, I'll I, I, tell Samara, yeah, I don't know. Tamara. What about Samara. Rian? Where, where did Rian come from? Alright, hold on, man. One person at a time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Samara, um... Samara done a, um, a freestyle um, on iCapture TV. Well, I was called cool, cool the guy who done iCapture TV at the time. And that's when I was still, like, coming up, like, commercial. Like, just started, started. And um, I needed female singers. And I saw her, and I was like, yo, she's good. Mm. And I didn't know her, and I didn't really know, this is before I started knowing bad girls and all that stuff. And I was like, yo, she's a good singer. Um, and because she was unknown at the time, like, you know what it is with politics and stuff, innit? So yeah. she was just like someone right just out of the rough, like, before Samara is Samara who she is now, she was just this girl who sings. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, yeah, and musically and not musically, like, we just connected. Um, so, and also when you connect with people, um, Outside of music, it's easier to make music with them. Yeah. So I just love making music with Samara. And to be fair, um, maybe the best female writer that I've ever worked with. Like I'll, I'll say that she's like she writes to me. Like, probably the catchiest like songs I've, I've made with a female. What about who, who do you think is the best singer you've worked with? Like? I think it's Alcide. I think I'll say he's the uh, best female singer I've worked with. Her voice, man. Like, I'll try I'll say this. She can, I even say, I tell I tell say this. Even when I was with Zoe, I said I'll say he's the best female singer that I've worked with. I'll say he has like this, like, I can't explain. Her singing style is different to everybody else's. Mm. Um, when you said that, how did she take that? Zoe? Yeah. I think Zoe minded. I think Zoe might have agreed, to be honest. Um, Zoe didn't um, have a problem with I'll say this, so it's not one of the ones where it would have caused the problem. Okay. Obviously, maybe with other people, but um, but yeah. So I thought I'll say it was the best singer. Um, but the thing is, um, I think with best singers and best writers, that's because you're the best singer or best rapper or whatever. Or in my opinion, it doesn't always come down. It comes down to the best writing. So I feel like my connection with Samara and our songs were normally predominantly better because we just had this, like. You could definitely see there's a music, a musical uh, like chemistry between you and Samara in yeah. a music way, like good songs. Something like I generally, like I, I generally feel like the songs even when we were five, five, six years ago, mm. that I, I can still release now and it'll be sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, th yeah that's yeah. how I feel when I made yeah. songs with Samara. Okay. Yeah. I'd say you had a strong chemistry with Rihanna as well, though. Yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, this guy's putting the camera very close to my face as well. <laughs> I ain't seen him put it that close to my face all day. Um, with Rihanna. Um, <laughs> I remember when I saw Rihanna on Facebook, like, um, I'm not gonna lie to you, innit? Like, I did her because she was hot, innit? Okay. Yeah, I was real. I was like, yo, this is a hot chick. I, said, I, did. I told her this as well. Um, I did her, it's like, I think I saw the violin. So I was like, oh, you do music. I don't know what type of music you made. That's a violin. That's, no, that's just enough to start a conversation. You know what I mean? Oh, you do music. I don't know why I started a conversation with this girl when I had a girlfriend. But um, I'm not a dodgy conversation or anything. But I was like, oh, you do music? Business, and, business. and she started talking all this like musical chords and stuff. I don't understand what she's talking about, man. Like, whatever, you know, terminology for like. Like, she read music. Yeah, like, composing yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like, I don't understand what the hell you're talking about, man. Like, you know what I mean? She was deep in it. She like, deep. instruments, yeah. Um, and, but anyway, she says like she sang and stuff like that. So, I was like, oh, okay. Um, like, I want to I make a song with you. That's normally how it goes with everyone that I ask. I'm just like straightforward, innit? Um, the ones that I do ask, and I don't really ask too many people. Um, so I put her on um, a Luton Time 8 way uh, with Zoe, and at that same time, uh, I was working with another singer called Alicia, uh, Nicole. Um, oh, she might be the best singer actually. Oh, that's hard. Um, but um, so literally, I met Alicia and Rianne like at the same time at the studio. Like, I just brought them both down, just met, and we just recorded the song that day. Um, Obviously, with Rianne, I know she causes a lot of controversy in the sense of um, a lot of people don't like her. Can we, can we get a bit deeper? Because obviously, this is like your like, rap kind of like life story. Like, yeah. Um, tell the fans um, about Rianne. Like, how do you feel about her? <laughs> 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 uh, this guy. <laughs> He's stuck on you nicely. Bro, you guys are sticking on me today. Like, no, no, one, um, nice. no one, like, I don't understand. You guys, like, like, I mean, you, you might seem to, like, like you seem to. Have, have you know, I like warning about this before the uh, we like, the interview. You seem to, like, have um, gotten with girls and done songs with, innit? So, mm. was there, like, a relationship with you and Rihanna or any sort? You know what? It's weird. Like, towards the. I want to say, not towards the end of my relationship, 
But I felt tight with Rianne then with my actual girlfriend. Like, um, like, um, which is nothing wrong with that. Don't get it twisted. Nah, I think there is a little bit, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, one thing, um, I remember she told me her mum said, like, um, you're in more pictures with Rebs than he is with his own girlfriend. Like, Rihanna will be in my display pictures, Rihanna will be in my WhatsApp pictures. They'll be, you, obviously, did you ever see pictures of me and Zoe together? No. It didn't exist, do you know what I'm saying? But, like, there was nothing, like, dodgy going on. But obviously, I could see, like, from the outside, it might, yeah. it might look that way. And obviously, maybe Zoe felt a certain way about it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, they seem to get on quite fine. So, I'm assuming it wasn't. Because there generally wasn't, like, anything, like, dodgy going on. So it's as simple as that. Um, but obviously, me and Zoe were coming to an end. Um, I spent I spent a lot of time with Brian. Like um, I think like with her, she's just like me, but as a female. In the way I behave, oh. stupid stuff to say, the way I act. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, the other half. <laughs> no. Was that a soulmate? Nah. I don't, do you believe in soulmates? Mm-hmm. Look how many women are in the world, bro. I did, man. I no, did, man. No, no, man. No, man. <laughs> you know what? I think, yeah. I, I, my first girlfriend, I thought was going to be forever, Aisha. Mm. My second girlfriend, I thought was going to be forever, Zoe. So, That's how I feel, man. So after man, my after, fifth or sixth. Yeah, after, now I'm like, oh, I'm questioning it. I'm like, hmm, soulmates. Mm. Mm, nah. <laughs> but you know what? There's too many women in I'll be real. I don't know. There's too many women in the world. I'm greedy. Real, real. I am greedy. I, I don't know if I can. I shouldn't I'll show be saying this because, like, it'll probably just hurt my chances with women, but. <laughs> There's so many of them that come my way. I'm that arrogant. It's not really gonna cause any problems. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? But you know what it is. Like, I'm not disrespectful about them or anything like that. But like, bro, there's so many. Like, what's that verse? Oh, one new time I wait. Girls yeah. wanna f me. Girls wanna s me. What? Considering like you're a ladies man, what did they say about that verse? Did they like it? But am I ladies man? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. In what sense? Every sense. <laughs> You're not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not backing up. He's just like, never <laughs> Like, nah, because like, rule, like, I think I'll be bare respectful to women. Okay. I'll, I'll definitely, mm, I was going to say definitely respectful to my last girlfriend. I don't know if that's true. Um, I, we both, no, nah, we both got F. Like, I, I, I've got a good question. Oh. Do you feel like, <laughs> so, when you're in a relationship, sometimes it's hard to switch rebellious off to who you know, who you should be in a relationship. Because uh, a, lot of, a lot of people you work with are right. That's artists. a good question. Yeah. You know? You know what, like when I first with her, you know how I'm arrogant now? I was like that when I was with her. She did not like it. She didn't like my arrogance, my cockiness. Like, and she would even say to me, I'm not one of your friends. Mm. And like, even sometimes I'd be like, your fam. She'd be like, I'm not your fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it did take me a while to go from ribs to Charlie, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went from reps to Shahid. I ain't glad I didn't like it. <coughs> I didn't like it. You feel vulnerable. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. They know your like darkest secrets. They know like what makes you sad. Mm. They know all that stuff. I, you know how women can be, they can twist them you know, like that, man. You know, you know yeah. I'm, I don't like her, but that's one thing she never really did. She didn't really twist stuff on me, do you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, she manipulated other things and lied about stuff. Yeah. I did too, so. Um, but she didn't like twist stuff on me like that. She didn't like throw stuff in my face. Are you real? I think I did her sometimes. Um, but I think that's like a learning thing. Uh, which obviously I've learned now. But um, yeah, like, I don't know. But now I'm back to me, the way I generally am. So if I'm in a relationship again, I'm not going to change who I am. This I'm staying yeah. this way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. the only hard thing was when I was in a relationship was the females, man. The girls I work with. Because the girls I work with were good looking. Mm. Bro, they're good looking. Do you feel like, I know you can't really say who you're going to date and who you're going to see in the future, do you feel like you'll ever get into a relationship with an artist again? Yeah. And you've collaborated do with. Do you rather get in a relationship with an artist? Do you prefer that than the average, you know, the average plain Jane chick that I'm not gonna say, works in WH Smith? I don't, I don't care what you do. I don't care. What you, to be fair, I'd rather the chick that works in WH Smith that nobody knows than the artist that has like a thousand, two thousand followers on Instagram and they're liking all your, your girlfriend's photos. Sliding in your DMs. Yeah, in my girlfriend's DMs. DMs. Yeah. Cause bro, I was playing football with guys that were like in my girlfriend's photos. And, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Yeah, so obviously I don't, I don't, I probably would rather that, but I probably feel like I would put it in another artist again. And obviously, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say their names because there'll be a few. But bro, I could have with the like the artists I work with a few of them already, like more than two or three. So um, it's probably likely. I feel like it'd be likely, bro. I work. 
I work with like four, five, six new different female artists a year. Do you know what I mean? The intention is not to, but you kind of just get closer, innit? Chemistry, man. Like you work, you work yeah. a lot. Got to keep yeah. professional. That, yeah. Do That's you feel like? Awesome. Do you feel like you'd be doing any more tunes with you or Samara or Liam? And why? <laughs> this, this guy. Uh, I don't think so. Why? Um, Good question, man. Good question. Samara said she's done my music. Okay. I don't know. If, I, I gotta be right. I don't know how today is. So Serious. I don't think she's done my music. She's dope. I don't think she's done my music. Um, she's dope. She. Bro. I tell her she needs to control her anger. Cause you know, you know when we're angry. Like she's not angry with me, but she's angry in general. You know when you're angry, like you say stuff. You know what it is when you're angry. Like um, temporary emotion can cause permanent effects. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when I'm angry, I go silent. I don't talk because I know I'm saying something stupid that I definitely don't mean that's gonna cause some kind of trouble. So like, I don't know, I think, I don't think she'll be done with music. I just think right now she's angry about something that I don't know about uh, with other people. And she's like, you know what, I'm gonna make a music because we're all gonna do a music video. I've been there, man. Uh, with Rianne, uh, we agreed that it would be our last video together. Um, How do you feel about it? I'm, I'm fine with that, to be honest. Um, it's hard. It's, it's like, obviously right now, like there's me in the room, Wars is in the room, I know you're coming back into music. Um, obviously I work with Karen. Now, obviously one thing I say, obviously I this Leo's and stuff and stuff, but I'm not, I'll use me, Wars and Karen as the main examples right now, is uh, we're hungry. We stay hungry. We don't rest on our hunger. We, we don't, if we make a song, that's done. We want to make another song, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to sit on this one video that we're going to release. We're going to make another three or four and release them. We're going to try and hold our radios. Yeah, BBC, we're going to keep doing that stuff, yeah? Now with Rianne, um, Rianne's not like that. Um, I feel, this is being said, I feel this way anyway, and I would happily tell this to Rianne. I think I have told this to Rianne anyway. Rianne, Rianne's a myth. She don't take music seriously. Um, she enjoys the attention from music, but, uh, that, they're not the right reasons to be making music. They're not the right reasons to be making music. I'll be, I'll be real, like, I think, I, I remember what I said to her when I added her, we have two mutual friends in common. Now we've got 80. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And most of them are musicians. So obviously, people know who Rihanna, people do know who Rihanna is. Yeah. Like, half this town knows who Rihanna is now, since she's been working with me. But she's not, she's not making music for the right reasons. Yeah, Also, people question her rapping ability. Now, I am not going to lie, I like Rianne's quirkiness, yeah? Now, I know a lot of people have come out and slated Rianne for the way she raps. I like it. Now, obviously, if I didn't like it, you know, I'd clearly just come out and say it. Yeah, it what do you like or what do you like about it? Because she says, she's just different. She's different. She just says weird stuff. You know, and I, I just like it. Now, obviously, some people think she had the worst verse on Newton Town Make Way. Some people actually said she had the best verse on Newton Town Make Way. She, and I'm not, I'm not BSing. So she splits opinion quite well. And the thing is, if you can split opinion like that, then in my eyes, you're doing your job. You, you've got everyone talking. You, do you know what I'm saying? So, but I don't know if she, when I first met Rianne, um, like nothing really affected her. Like you could say anything, like it didn't affect her, her confidence, she didn't care. Fast forward to now, I think she does. And I think it like, it's kind of. Why do you think she feels that way now all of a sudden? I don't know. I, that's something I don't know about. Maybe she might have, it might have affected her back in the day. She was better hiding it. I don't know, because obviously, you know, for me, you can say something about me. I don't care. You can compliment, you can compliment me, you can offend me, and I'll still do the exact same thing. You're just being that way from day, man. It just slides, slides off, man. Like. He literally, yeah, it was going off my shoulder. Her females, I don't know. It's a bit different. Obviously, she gets, she's been slated. Um, sometimes, generally, so I think she should be slated, and I think she does, she does need to kick up the backside, um, but. She hasn't taken it seriously enough. I think with the rapping side, if she worked at it, and I don't think it's hard to work at rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go, how many days, how many hours are there in a day? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you have to rap every day. But if you don't do it a day a week, just perfect the flow, perfect the style. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't think she, she, she never done it, which comes back to the seriousness of how she takes music. That's a good answer. You know, I'm, you know what I think's a bit peak? What's that? I don't think the mics are on. The volume's all the way down, isn't it? Huh? Oh no, the mics are on. Oh, Sorry, happy bro. days. <laughs> it's them. I was like, it's them. I was looking at the wrong things. I was like, boy, <laughs> good luck fabricating this this conversation again. It'll come out completely different. Oh no, you got it on here. Shit. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn you. Um, but yeah, but I just don't think she, 
she takes it, she doesn't take it seriously enough. Um, okay, fair enough. So, what do you think about Rihanna's music? This ain't about me. No, no I'm curious. This ain't about me, bro. No, no, I'm just curious. We're part of this conversation. This ain't about me. <laughs> 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 this ain't about me. <laughs> that reaction. <laughs> yeah, I lost Chino. Chino's her Rian. And he doesn't know her personally. So, what do you, how do you feel about what you heard of Rian? Obviously, he's like, you said Samara's dope. You like Samara. I feel, I feel, you know, I feel, so. I feel, I feel Rian's got something, man. I feel she's got something, but I definitely feel like there's, there's perks that she definitely needs to work on. Yeah, literally. Can't put your finger on what she's got there. Yeah, yeah, she's got something. I think it's quirkiness. Mate, she's got like what you call quirkiness, spunk, what you'd call, you know what I mean? Like energy. I'm still not laughing. She's definitely got that. She's definitely got that. People say, yeah, she's got spunk and energy. Like. <laughs> <laughs> she's got something. I just can't put my finger on you know? Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's move on from this. Yeah, man. So listen, what makes you tick? Musically, what makes you? I know, like you're you you're, you're consistent with the music. Like you you make a song and boom, you're on to the next one. You've always been that way as an artist. But what makes you tick musically? What what keeps you going? Uh, what it's just hunger. Literally, just hunger. Like, um, yeah, it's just hunger. Like I I I take enjoyment of being on radios. I'm enjoying like um, today. Sliding slide out was played in uh, Brunel. I don't even know where Brunel Jeez, is. Hold tight, slide and slide out. Does anybody know where Brunel is? No, I've never heard of it. Not even. Not so, even. But anyway, that was on radio T today in Brunel. Um, obviously, Sliding Slide was on Represent Radio uh, in February. Um, obviously, the, the Royal Family were on Represent Radio like three weeks before Sliding Slide out. You know what I'm saying? And I've been trying to get on Represent Radio for a long time. Obviously, I conquered BBC. And then after that, I was like, oh, I want to get on Represent. I can't believe Sliding Slide was the song that got on there. Um, and now, obviously, um, thanks to you, by the way, that um, guy in Manchester, Lake CFM. Um, there's another show in Luton, another radio show that I've got my songs on. Um, so I take, great, I take great pride in radio, BBC, BBC One Extra, BBC Asian Network, Proper Zen. I want to get on radar next. Um, I take great pride in being, like, as an, I'm not just local radio, I'm radio everywhere. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I take pride in that. Like, that, I don't know, I always get myself sense of accomplishment from it. Um, people when people like Snapchat me or oh, reps like, like this song, like the compliments that people get, like they generally listen to my music, I like that. Um, and obviously like working with people I grew up listening to. Like I, I, yeah, like stuff like that. So like where do you see yourself in the next two years musically? I don't know bro be because like I would have said two years ago three years I would have had a radio show. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I and mean, if I did have a radio show that would be FM. Like it's not anything in the radio. I'm radio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in two years, I might be on a different radio station. I might be on a, like, and I, I do love Radio Lab because they give me so much creative freedom. Um, but I could be on a different radio uh, but station. But like, do you have a goal though? Like, obviously that's all growth, yeah, but like, do you have a goal? You know what, like, like, like. You're saying to yourself where you want to hit in the next two years. I want to, I want to get to the point, like, I remember this and I was with Trevor when I went to London. I watched uh, Flirt of D perform in November. Obviously we went to his house. Flirt of D. Like hands down. Uh, we'll see, we met up with him at his yard, then went to the gig. Now the same thing is, obviously I sit down with Flirt of D, I'm sitting down with you guys. And we'll, like, and so the show, and we just talk, like, we talk, I talk silliness, as, normal, as I do. Normal. Yeah, like, literally normal. Then I went to the gig, and you know what it is? I walk around town, and some people will stop me. Like, reps, blah, 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 reps, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, like, in my head. Um, and I went to the, the gig, and I saw Flirt, and he was getting stopped 24-7. They wouldn't leave. Yeah, they wouldn't leave him alone. Mm. Like yeah. he, he all tight, dirty flirt. You know what I'm saying? Girls were stopping him. Picture after picture after picture after picture. Girls like saying nonsense Ooh. in his ear because they like they love him. <laughs> and I was like, oh wait, I need to step it up. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I think I need to get there. I need to get to that there level. Like I'm not a past the beginning level. I'm like here, I've conquered. I've definitely conquered this town. Um, I need to get into London. I need to be. I need to be on BBC One Extra more than just song with flirts. That song with flirts. That odd song. I need. Oh, that song with. I need to be on One Extra. Like it needs to be a regular thing. Mm, that's you, big. you know what I'm saying? It needs. To, I need to become that. I need to be working with more artists like that. With ribs, flirts, craze, slew them. You know what I'm saying? It needs to continue. Um, and I want to get to that stage where I'm on their level. And then once I get to that level, then think of like another level. Like after that, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, how did you feel like working with Flirt D and um, 
ribs. I mean, we used to watch them growing up. You we did, yeah. We like, used to watch them on TV growing up. When we were talking about the sends, studio, when we were talking about the sends when we first started, yeah. I sent, we sent over a Flirt DB. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Kano one. Yeah, again. yeah. Uh, so obviously, working, you know what it was? When I worked the Flirts. Um, was it surreal? I expected him to be arrogant and cocky. I was thinking, I'll be real, I expected him to be like, oh. Like, what, yeah. what is the, you know what I'm saying? What yeah. actually is gonna have? Because obviously working with people here, that's how we, not how we you all are. You know the stereotype, you're like, you don't want to meet your heroes, because what you do is like, oh man. But it's like, you know what people are like here, innit? Everyone yeah. thinks it's too good to do something, though they can't even get a local radio. So yeah. I don't know, I don't know why you're coming out of that attitude. Yeah. Mate, it's you're, different in London. Yeah, then we got 40 yeah. views on YouTube, calm down. Like, so obviously, that's, that's the attitude here. For someone like flirts, he's like, he's, because he's still one extra every week. Mm. And all that stuff, SBT, all that stuff, so I'm just like, oh, like, uh, bro, he was completely normal. It was, it was, it was weird. I was just like, yo, what are you saying, bro? Like, calm, no, nothing. Humble. So humble. Oh, Re- like, maybe one of the humblest people we've met in it. He was so humble. Like, it, it's like he hasn't done anything. Because mm. he was that humble. And like, I, I was confused. I was already confused. And then, um, obviously. Type flag, yeah. Still. And then on the second song, again, same thing. First song, same thing. At his gig, he, uh, like, he packed it all out. He's like, I want you on the next one. Like, and I was like, he don't need to show me this love. You know, he doesn't need to do any of this stuff for me. But then obviously, it's nice to think that there's some of the stuff that I've helped with other people, someone will do that for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And again, Ribs, Ribs is the same thing, innit? How humble is Ribs? Yeah, he's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, he's just completely calm. Like, um, they're just like really, really normal. Normal. Like, it's like, they. I, I, don't, I can't explain it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I'm Genuinely but, nice people. Yeah, they are generally just nice people. Legit, legit, real, recognised, real. Yeah, but I do like working with Flirts because he was my favourite um, MC growing up. Like, you know, when you get them um, them bars back in the day where you'd have all sort of rhythm, like, rhythms, they're called yeah, rhythms yeah. back then, anyway. Right, right. And everyone had an eight bar. Yeah. And I was, I'd always wait for Flirts's. Yeah, Think what the hell is it? <laughs> yeah, he's always going to do something crazy. He doesn't say nothing on one of them. <laughs> yeah, one yeah. of the, the Leaf will be one, but yeah. uh, Forward Rhythm Part 2. Like, it's just, just bare noise. It's just. It's just Sound effects, sound. <laughs> yeah! Hold <laughs> tight, dirty flirts. It's like, yeah, man. It, it, hey. Now, listen. One one artist, he was definitely an artist that inspired me to get me back on the music team. Now, Rebellious has been doing his thing, but another artist that has inspired me to get back into the music game is Wars. Hey. Now, look at his smile. Why are so cute? Hold <laughs> tight, Wars. Wars is a big... Is, is, is the big thing coming out not, not now. Not right? Right. How did you... And wars link up. The fans want to know because you're both, <laughs> you're both some fire right now. Jeez, I mean, love for that. I want to say love for that. Yeah, I didn't expect that question. That's a good question. Still, what would you answer that? It's, nice. it's your thing, innit? So, how did you I and wars connect? I don't know how personally. You wanna, I don't know how deep. What we want. get deep in it. I don't mind, bro. I want it deep, bro. This is about you, dude. Um, the fans want to know. I'll join you when I need to, innit? Yeah. Originally, um, obviously, wars is part of a group called New Grime, which is um, whole tight New Grime. Trust me. Um, was, was in a group called New Grime with um, an artist called Simba. Um, I, I worked with Simba back in the day. Um, I had him on the show as well. I had him on one of my first shows actually, because I'm um, Karina. And um, so originally, through obviously knowing Simba, I knew he was in a group called New Grime, and I knew he had a guy in a group called Wars. Now I didn't know of Wars like, like that. I haven't even heard you at that time. I just yeah. knew Wars was part of this um, group called New Grime. Now Simba came on, uh, had Simba on a lot of things. Um, I done a show actually, and um, I had uh, Simba come on, and obviously you came along as well. Do you remember the one in uh, Lucy Farm, um, opposite your old house? Cheers. I performed Lucy there. Farm. Remember? Ha- the show. Uh, yeah, the, the one where you went out that night. And, um, North side. Do you remember the night? Oh yeah, the yeah, night I that do we, remember. Yeah, yeah. Let's not yeah. get into that. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get into the personal North stuff. Um, and we performed there, <laughs> and um, like we performed, but we didn't really talk. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, I talked to Simba, but I didn't really talk to Wars too much. What did you think of Wars' performance? Just like, this is like, you don't even know each other at this point. You know what it is, I'm I think... Assuming, so obviously I, artist to artist. You know what, one thing I'd say, and I'll, I'll be critical of performance, I'll be critical. Because um, one thing I do, and because I'm not a born performer. I'm not a born performer, I don't like performing, I don't like being on stage. Mm. Like, it's not me, I like being in the studio, videos, radio, all that stuff. Performing's not for me, I don't, I don't care for it. One thing I notice about other artists, is you know when they perform, like they going up and down, like blah blah blah. Now the thing about me and Simba was we didn't move from our spots. No, we didn't. We kind of stood. No, we didn't. 
This so it's three of us, and we once I stack my bar, then Wars will be on the right side, spit his bar. Simple, you know what I'm saying? We didn't rule, we very static. And then um, a few weeks later, we had the other one, didn't we? Uh, More to music. On the stage. In Hitchin. Yes. With yes. Uh, one son. And again, it was kind of the same, similar pattern. Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, so I knew it was, but like, and he was with me, and we were, like, we were there. And we were like, ah, oh, cool. Like, you're right, let's, yeah, like, yeah, but we didn't yeah. have conversation. Yeah, yeah. Then, um, obviously, I broke up with my, um, well, we broke, we, me and my girlfriend at the time ended. And obviously, let's be honest, through marriage, there's some kind of relation there. Um, and obviously, me and her didn't, we didn't tell people we broke up. Yeah. Um, so I guess people were going to find out. I don't know how people were going to find out, to be honest. But obviously, I knew because him and her found her connected um, for another marriage, he's going to find out eventually. So, you know, I thought, ah, let me just tell Ward, I was like, yo, I've broken up, blah, blah, blah. So obviously, I was always telling them. And I was like, yo, fam, I was like, I better tell you now, because I'm going to find out eventually, you know what I mean? Because like, we were broken up. And, um, he was like, he was wondering already, because he said, like, I've seen in a snap, so you're not in him. But then I never was anyway, so yeah, yeah. to be fair, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know what happened, but obviously he was having personal problems with other people at that time. Obviously I was going through um, something at that time as well. And it was from that, innit? It, it, it wasn't music that brought us together. It wasn't music that brought us together. Real life, real life. It was life that brought us together. And it, I think the confusion of the other parties, like, I think they were thinking, like, how are these two friends? Like, yeah, where did it come yeah. from? Yeah, it came out of nowhere. Because it came <laughs> literally out of nowhere. <laughs> and you know what it is about wars? Because I've worked with bare people. I think I've worked with more than anyone in this town that ever has. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And one thing about wars is he's humble. Mm. Yeah, he makes music. Mm. He doesn't change the way he is. Like, you can compliment wars a hundred times. Hold tight, wars. He'll be exactly the same. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't get to his. Obviously, you can brag about people compliment, but, but it doesn't change him. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I'm, ar I'm arrogant. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I'm arrogant, but I won't be arrogant towards. Like, the way I am towards wars is the way I am to my close people. Obviously, if you don't know me, then I will come across as a massive douchebag, and that's fair enough. But obviously, like, um, like I brought wars in because I knew, like, he's hardworking, he's humble, and he's loyal as well. Now, I brought a lot of people through who disappeared. And then once they disappear, they're angry with me because I don't bring them in anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, the yeah. thing about them is, like, yo, I make songs with you, but once we've made songs, and, like, all right, you've been on the Luton Town, mate, where we've made two or three songs together, people know who you are, yo, you need to be making your own songs so you can, like, then people recognise you. Yeah. No one else does that, but Wars did. Do you know what I'm saying? And now Karen, yeah. as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I, I respect that. And, and obviously, like, I don't think it will change. I generally don't. And I, and I think that's a good thing. And obviously, and, like, I just don't, like, it won't turn. It won't turn on the other people who feel like I've left them out. But it's not for me to leave you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how much is that like, war is a big influence on you to keep on going, knowing that war is coming up? You know what it is? It's not uh, was it influence on me to keep on going because like I had the same drive when I didn't know wars. Like that that well, that drive's not gonna that it just won't go. You know what I'm saying? Like if anything, I want him to do so well. Like, I don't always say to him as well. Like if I can help him in any way. I will. Like I gave him like, um, and he actually he done the same thing, thing for me like two days ago. I gave him a radio DJ. I was like, yo, add him, send your music to him, tell him I sent you. Yeah, then obviously, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even with the ribs thing as well, isn't it? Like brought walls in. Like walls, um, walls are consistent. He will can he will continue making music. Like he done Luton Town Midway. He done Madness. And you know what it is like. People are seeing walls for him. Um, he's got he's like standing out now. Um, and he's continuing to make music by himself. Lyrically, one of the best in the whole time, right? Yeah, now. and that's what LJ, that's, that's what LJ said as well. Lyrically. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what it is? You, you taught realness, bro. Mm. You taught realness. I like the anger aspect. That's what I like. I like, I like, I like how you, the talent that I saw in you from early, that wasn't, well, that wasn't there, that you created, and it, it's become real. I've obviously seen something like within, you've seen the same kind of talent I feel with Wars and watching him grow now. Yeah, I literally am like watching you grow, not yeah. physically. I feel like yeah, you plant you planted the seed like and then boom. He's like you know what it is, like I think he was always hungry. You know what it is, I think as well, you're like you're always hungry. Like I'm hungry, innit? But mm. sometimes I feel like you have to meet the right people. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think yeah. that's like generally happened now. And like yeah. I think as well with this radio show, like we have a lot of people that come on here, you make friends with them, like social media and uh, like the war circles keeps expanding. Trust like, me. Like literally. 
Yeah, literally, I'm around the right people now, isn't it? Like, obviously, I've always been hungry and driven, mm. but I've had the wrong people around me. You know what I mean? People mm. slow you down and stuff like that. Since I've been around Rebs, everything's just going well, going my way and that. So, mm. yeah. It's true, like, I just, I, I don't see him stopping. Like, I, he, he will become, he will get bigger and bigger. Like, he will be on BBC, like, I know he will. He'll be in all that stuff, and he will be working with mainstream arts eventually. Mm. No, but I'm not saying this because you're more like, because there's a lot of people I work with that I wouldn't say that about. Who yeah, I think are good. It's good to know that people have this much like, belief in me as well. Yeah, bro, like, it's, you, it's, it's only a matter of time until you start working with the grandmaster you listen to. Do you know what I'm saying? In fact, you, you're doing sets with some of them already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So on, once that gets converted into actual songs, and it, and it will happen. It will. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like people wait on you for it. Don't get twisted. Like, I've seen people's faces drop when I've been in a room, like, yeah, I made a song of flirts. I see their faces like, oh, yeah. They don't want to give you the credit you deserve. No, they don't, of course they don't. Because they're the people they listen to. And, you know, honestly, when there's somebody that you dislike, most of the people you listen to, like, I understand. And people will feel the same about you, by the way. Yeah. I told you as well, because when I first started Wars, Wars had, wanna, like... They don't want to see you winning, man. No, they don't want to see him winning. But remember, I said you had no haters. Yeah, yeah. I remember you even yeah. said as well. You kind of said. I remember we were in London when we were at Rianne's house thing. I mean, you're walking. We had to come back to Luton because of my stupidity. Yeah. And um, and you were saying you had no haters. I think that's changed. Yeah, it's definitely changed. I see on my YouTube videos, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Like dislikes. So yeah, man. But yeah, wars will. I see hunger in wars. I see passion in wars. And I, I see a lot of stuff in wars that I saw in myself. Okay. Said he behaves a lot better than me. <laughs> Right, another another huge question. I think this is a question, yeah, that I've been waiting for. Especially, I can imagine a lot of your fans have been waiting for, yeah. yeah. Part three. Is this, is this part three? Yeah, yeah. part three. It's part, part three. three yeah. Yeah, man. Newton Town, May Way. Yeah. How did it start? I want to know the concept. Jeez. You came up with it. You understand, like yeah, your yeah. fans. I need to know when it started. Way before one. Leo hates it. <laughs> Leo hates it. But it's turned into a franchise that people, I know the artists personally are trying to get at you to yeah. get on. It should, like, I know it's true. You get me? So, like, um, talk, talk to me. Like Luton, the voice of Luton, I mean, sorry, it's like the voice of Luton that Real tune, talk. innit? It's, it's weird. Because it wasn't a platform. Meant... It's like you created a platform. You know what's weird, bruv? Uh, before I even uh, knew, I think even before I even knew of Wars, um, I used to say I'm the best in the bits. <laughs> and Luton Town made it part one. I was like, I'm the best in a bit. It was me, it was me being, making a statement. Before part one was me making a statement. Mm. I was coming up um, on the Soul Rammers now. Um, this is what I was saying to you. I was doing them gigs with like 500 people, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And obviously, people were not giving me the respect I feel like I deserved. Mm. So I made Luton Town make way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was make way for me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? At yeah. the time, you're, you're making way for me now. This is my time. That's and true. obviously, um, so part one happened. Um, with me, Jay and Toby. You remember Toby, innit? Mm -hmm. um, Watch our fingers. And um, we shot in the middle of the town. So some of the people in that video that mean that we don't get on anymore. So that's what I'm saying, we fall out quickly, I fall out quickly yeah, for some yeah. people. Um, and yeah, Little Time 8 1 part 1 happened, but it was supposed to be like Little Time 8 Wing. Like, there was no, oh, I'm gonna make a 2 or 3. Um, how did that come about? How did that concert come about? Little Time 8 Wing? Yeah, like, like the second one. Like, the second one like. I, I, had a good, I, I had a good beat. Um, I still haven't really, you know what, I've never released part two. Why? I'll, I'll get into that in a second. Um, but I made part two. Now again, oh yeah, let's make a part two. I made a part two to some of my songs before. So again, I'm not gonna make a part two to, I don't know, I made a part two to Slide Inside Anne, really. I'm not gonna make 10 of them. It weren't supposed to yeah. be like a video franchise at first. It was just- It's just supposed like to be like one, one song. And it made me two songs, and I made it two songs. And then what happened was I had a, do you remember Judd? Yeah, rapper Judd. Yeah, it's from our school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I had him on it um, with a few other acts. Now, obviously, I don't know what the guy was smoking. What do you think of John lyrically? You know what? I don't like him. I don't like no, no, no. I don't like him personally. Um, he said a lot of stuff. I've seen him since. Mm. Um, what did he say? What, like, what did he say? Ah, uh, house of hits. H H stands for house of hoes. Like he went on a mad one. In um, I'm not saying artist name, but the artist like the artist in the studio. Mm. Um, from El Lucy Vaughan, and they said, Oh, this guy, because he's in his snaps. Like, we jumped him like the other week, like, he was like scared, he was running, he was, he was walking through the back of his flats because he was too scared to go through the front door, blah blah blah. Now, anyway, that's a different story. Um, he was just talking a lot of nonsense, and the way he was talking as well, he was talking like there was gonna be a fight. Now, the thing is, you, you again, he can't fight me, he will lose, you know what I'm saying? Even with like my limited Mai Tai thing, he will lose, you know what I'm saying? The normal guy is not gonna be able to. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll, um, 
and I saw him in town and he put his head down onto the floor. Now obviously I was prepared for, I always mentally, if I see something I dislike, I'm always right there mentally prepared we're gonna have a fight. Yeah. Like I'm already prepared, you know what I'm like innit? Mm -hmm. like, I get agitated very quickly, like I can go from really happy to like really like, I, my, 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 men, my mentality quickly changes. And um, so I saw him, he was with his daughter to be fair, but obviously I saw him, he looked, he looked at the floor and I was like, wait what? Like I was like, all the stuff you're saying, like I'm generally thinking this is a real thing. Yeah. Just walked away. It's probably because it was with his daughter. Nah, I've seen him since. Again. Oh. He just pretends I'm not there. He pretends he can't see me. So I just leave. You know, as I heard this, I heard he suffers from mental stuff. See, yeah. So you know what? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, whatever. Um, but what happened was, and this is I think what actually caused it was, um, we were supposed to shoot a video. Um, something happened with the video guy. So he, who was it? Was this looting make way part two? two. This one, and he so wanted who to shoot. was initially in it? You, Jard, Jard. Wazy, and I think Nav. Um, and... I'll tell Wazy. Jard wanted to shoot on his camera phone. And I didn't want to shoot on a camera phone. Mm -hmm. so I was like, no, we're not, we're not shooting on a camera phone. And he's like, oh, he's like, nah, that technology's changed. All right, technology has changed. But I'm not shooting my music video on a camera phone. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's not happening. And he's like, oh, you fake rappers. All you care about is your image and your jewelry and all that stuff. No, I'm shooting it on my, I'm shooting it on a professional camera. I want to get the video done, obviously, and we argued about it, um, and it's never came around. Literally, is why number two never happened. So from that is why I made number three, because I wanted to release another thing. So I didn't name number three, number two, because number two did, does exist. Yeah. Like yeah, I think it's up somewhere on like SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. uh, so I made number three, just because number two didn't happen. And on number three, I brought in Zoe, Ellie, Wazy, Toby, Nav, and me in in a subway, in a blue subway. Um, and I done well, so I was like, okay. I was like, let's make a number four, and I completely changed the beat. You know, I'm like DJ Mustard, Mustard on the beat. I made it one of them yeah, ones. Yeah, so yeah. I thought it makes us like completely change it. Yeah, so I made a number four, <laughs> put in um, Casper, um, Leo was on it this time, me and Wazy. Um, that done well. So I thought, okay, let's make a number five. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't even know what number it's five not even broken, is. Don't fix it, you know? Yeah, literally. Uh, what? Does anybody know? The what, I don't, I don't like, know what number five is, but what I've noticed here yeah, is every time you do a make way now, you're like, oh, this is the last one. And then someone, it takes one person or a few people to come to you and be like, oh, when's the make way coming out? You, you know what? One. one of the little make ways they cause controversy. Um, is it part five? Part five? It might be. The one where there's me, Soul Rhymers. Fresh, Hot, Strix, Depart, One Sun, Simba. Yeah, there was a lot of you in that one. Yeah. Yeah. There was like, there's like 12 of us in that one. Yeah. Now see, that one caused trouble because I named it Loon All-Stars. Now a lot of people were like, these are not the All-Stars. Back in the day, these are the All-Stars. Now obviously, I see why people were angry. Now obviously, my, counter, my I had a counter argument to that straight away. I was one of the people that were angry. <laughs> now let me, let me, now let me, let me, let me, let me, now let me explain this to everybody, yeah? yeah. Now, there's a lot of people in Luton, yeah? who say they're sick, yeah, who are good. Like, oh, back in the day, this guy was doing bits. Yeah, he was never on radio though. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, now, that Luton Town Make Way, that year that everyone was on, Zoe was on BBC Radio, yeah? I was on BBC. Soul Ryan was on BBC, Depart was on BBC, Trix was on BBC, Hots was on BBC. Oh, Tricks and Hots. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I feel like I'm missing someone else. Yeah, but anyway, I just named you six people. From that, we're on BBC, three counties, one extra that year from Luton Town. Yeah. That's what, a good point though. What is your problem? Like, That's like, a good argument though, I like Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so half the people, do you know what I'm saying? I, I just named you six people. I saw, I didn't, I didn't even know, no, I saw where I was a two, but do you know what I'm saying? Um, is, you could kind of say like, technically it was like the all stars of that generation or that year. Like, it's not even that, that because years, if we're so. going to talk about the generations before, all right, you had a good reputation, but what did you achieve musically? No, 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 because this argument always comes up, the old school's better, so mm. what do they do? I, can't, I, I haven't seen any old school people work with, I said, oh, you can say Taeyong, yeah, a fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, where's the old school people working with the big artists today? I haven't seen anyone work with K-Coke or, I mean, well, Maestro has. They really don't much, they just use to spit bars. Exactly. Like, um, they want a female on like SVTV, like spat bars there, but that's it. That's no, no, I mean. don't be wrong, I'm not going to discredit that, that's a good look. Yeah. 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 But if that's like the one thing, to, I just named you six people that on BBC, that year, now I was on BBC the previous year, so was Soul Rhymers. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so, what, so what? 
I, I, I did come. I tell everyone that because I don't need to. I'm not. I'm not going to justify your insecurities. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like that. But like, so like, yeah. The, the my problem, the dope problem is from your is they're the problem. Like, if you fall away, then you do the hard work. In fact, you make a loot in town. Make right. No, don't make a loot in town. Make way. You can make right. a loot in town. Make. No, but I feel what you're saying. You're basically saying, do you know what? Just put in the same effort, put in the same work that I put in, man. You'll be the same place, man. But until you do that, shh. Well, when I just named you, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I think I didn't even. When I just named you, how much people on one song that all BBC mm. that year from the same town? I'm sorry. I don't. I, I well, can't. I, I, don't, I don't even look at it at that point of view. You've got a good point of view. Everyone was saying, like, the All Stars, like, it should have been with the original, a couple of like, locks and. A few and this and that. I speak to lots. I still speak to lots. Like, you know what? You got a point, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but then they're not on music anymore. And like, I'm not gonna discredit people that are trying to come back, but they're not doing well. I feel someone is trapped in the past too much. They are, because yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, sees yeah, Luton. Yeah, no, yeah. it's like yeah, in Luton. Nah, yeah. like nah. I don't care. Nah, I do care about Luton because I live here. But yeah. like, like I said, uh, um, us. We're on Manchester. We're not on Manchester internet radio. We're on FM. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? BBC One Extra. That's London. All right. I know you can place here and radio uh, represent London. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Bruno. I don't know what it is. I need to check that. But I know it's not a Luton. <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everyone's stuck here. And you know what's worse? The Luton artists can't even get on local radio. And you know what it is? It's not even because they're not talented. Because they are. It's because their attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? True. So I'm not parting their 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 credentials. Mm as artist because you know what I'm saying because I remember Ignite me and Ignite sat in the car and Ignite I was talking about how many people that hate me yeah. and he's like saying like you told me why and I said to him it's not because I'm the best rapper because I was like I'm not the best rapper because bro first I don't agree he's the best rapper mate, but, it, but there are better rappers than me the difference between me and it, like the, be the better rapper, rappers you're a good rapper though but yeah I know I, I believe I'm a good rapper anyway good rapper. but the difference between me and the, the rappers that are better is I will make a better song than you yeah my yeah. songs are going to be better than yours yeah you can drop a 616 I'll drop an entire sick song yeah you can drop a 616 with your dead chorus I'll drop a sick song with a sick chorus do you know what I'm saying my songs will be catchy my songs will stay in your head I will drop products yeah. you will not yeah. do you know what I'm saying so okay. you are a better rapper than me agreed I am a better artist than you I'll make a hit I'm a better artist than you yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a better product than you. I feel that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so when people say like um, the bars and like, yeah, you can split bars. That's fine. I don't want to split bars. Yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want to be splitting bars in the corner of my mobile phone. Yeah. Like I'm an artist. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna be doing that. Yeah. And it's not discrediting people that do that because that's if that's what they want. That, that is fine. But I'm trying to say like, there's so much more than that. Yeah. Do you know I what I'm saying? saying? There's yeah. so much more yeah. than who can drop a sick eight sixteen bar. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's there's so much more as a product. Like and people get confused, not confused, too short sighted. Yeah. So when people, people will say just after each other's ratings. Mm. Yeah, I don't want I don't care about people's ratings. Respect is bigger than ratings. Of course. You know what I'm saying? And also I don't want respect from men. <laughs> I don't want respect from men. So when guys are calling me out, I'm not gay bruv. Like I'm making songs for women. You know what I'm saying? And obviously it works very well. Very well. I'll turn it late. The ladies. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies. No, you know what it is actually though? Some girl did try to get me kicked off regular. She sounds racist because I don't um, make music with black women. And Swear. I said, yeah. She tried to get you kicked off radio like because you don't make music. Explain the story. She's a black I singer. She's a black singer by the way. Who I invited on the radio show like before yeah. she had this outburst. Yeah. And I said to her, I was like, um, she's like, yeah, you only make songs with mixed race women. And I said to her, I was like, first off, I made a song with uh, with a girl called Delicia. Now I don't. I'll be real. I don't know too many black girls. Um, I made a song. Why with... though? Why? Why? That it's not. It's not. It's not a uh, a thing that's been done on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't. I can't. Like I can't tell you why now. For some strange reason, why? I'm, like I'm destined for mixed race women. Yeah. Because everyone says to me like mixed race women are hardest to pull. For me, it's the generally the easiest thing in the not in the world. Like, I'm not saying they're easy because they're not easy. But I mean, it happens like. It happens, do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, it just saying. happens. I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I've been around black people, it's hanging around me since I was about nine, ten. So. <laughs> but, no. do, do you know what I'm saying? Like, like no racism. No, no, there's no racism. Because, <laughs> like, there's most, of my no friends, racism. most of my friends are black anyway, but obviously, you know. From early. But you know what I say? Like, like, even like artists now who are famous that have like light skinned music uh, women in their videos, and like, oh, you're not supporting black women and stuff. Like, I, I kind of get it. But obviously, like, for me, it's never been done on purpose. Is it because you're mixed race yourself? I think that's that, what people say. I think that sometimes that does help because I am mixed race. So I don't know. I know I'm mixed race Asian and white, 
but obviously mixed race is mixed race. Yeah, mixed race, mixed race. So mixed race, kind of. I don't say mixed race like mixed race, but it seems to like kind of happen. Um, but this girl tried to get me kicked off because she's like I'm racist, and I remember she's like um, I don't support black women, and I said I asked you to come on my show. You're a singer that's black, that's and she, her reply was she was trying to keep us little fishes at bay. I don't come on a radio show then. And then she's like, you don't care about. She, go, yeah, yeah. she even said to me. She said to me, but you, she goes, you're doing black, your, your music's uh, from black culture, um, and you're not supporting black women or our black history. I replied, if you know me, I don't give a f about white history. I don't give a f about Asian history, and I don't give a f about black history. And she goes, and she goes, you're racist. You don't care about history. I was like, I also don't care about white or Asian history. I was like, I don't care. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. But she picked out obviously the ones to, what she wants to hear. Even Leo was like, "This is ridiculous." I was like, "I know." So I told the manager, "I was like, yo, I'm not letting you know now. This girl's trying it because of this. Like, I can show you all this conversation. It's not a problem." And blah blah blah. Like, look, bro. If you want to talk about the black thing, then let's talk about the white thing. I only work with one, like, one white female. She's dope as well. What's her name? Ellie. Ellie. Am I racist no, to white no, 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 people? No, man. She's dope. I mean, I am. Like white. There's not something KB-ish about her, man. I've heard Yeah, she's good. Ellie is sick. <coughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying? So that happens. So. Mm. <sighs> Boy. I can't remember what the original question was. Um, it was about leading time. Leading time, mate. Great. We got as far as five. Seven and eight. Oh, yeah, I got stuck on the, uh, the All Stars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's no, good, though. We had to get stuck in. Um, but now, after that one, I'm done. I was done. Like, I joke, I said to the other I'm done. And then I was shooting a video for Rufio in town. And um, he went to, to the next place he wanted to shoot. And I was walking towards it, I was walking slow. I think I was getting cut off at the hat factory. Yeah. And these two guys came out of the pub. They're like, yo, when's the next new in town? Make way out. And I was like, there, there ain't another one coming out. I was like, there's not anymore. And then I went town that Saturday. I was stopped in town again by a girl. So like, when's the next new in town? Make way coming out. I was like, that's what I'm saying. When your friends are talking to you, that like, there's, there's, like, there's like ping in your head. It's like you gotta give them what. I was they like, I've got to make another one. Yeah. Yeah. So I made that one. The day it came out, three people said to me, "When's the next time Time coming out?" I was like, "I've just released one." <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know what? It's why there's still demand for a Time Eight Way. I'll keep making them because there's demand for it. Okay. Um, but I might as well. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna keep asking for Time Eight Ways, then I'll keep make, I'll keep making them. Um, but I, I want I want I want to keep making them different. So obviously, the last one was with us, innit? With me, you, Rianne, one son. Yeah, yeah. That one was obviously my most viral verse. Like, um, it was, uh, I, mean, it was, I guess it's kind of disrespectful. This, Sorry. Man, <laughs> this is the first. Well, <laughs> um, but I want them all to sound different. Mm. So now, obviously, we're currently making one, aren't we? Yeah. And that's yeah. what kind of that's like a poppy, poppy Afrobeat, Afrobeat style. type of. But uh, yeah, mm. and uh, let's, let's see how that does. That's it. But I do. Will it be the last? This one? No, because I want it. Uh, if it does end, I want to end it at ten. At ten. Yeah, and at ten, I will get as many people as I can. Biggest. But ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't yeah. be ten people. It'll be more. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 it won't be at ten. You're gonna look at the end of a bang. Like, if it doesn't end at ten, but ten has to be special either way. If it doesn't, because it's ten. So you're trying to end it at ten, yeah? I want to end it at ten. And then what, what happens when people start saying, oh, 10 was lit, when's 11? Are you going to do any more, please? But see, the thing is with 10, I'm going to go out my way. It won't be 10 people on there at 12. They'll be like, I want it to be like 15, 20. I want it to be a big deal, like a really, really big deal. It would be a good idea after 10, if you just like drop the numbers and just done every now and then, every five years, Luton Town make way with new artists around that era. You might not even But you know what it is? Every time I make one, new artists from the new years come on them anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because New York appear out of nowhere. Yeah. And a lot of them. I personally feel, yeah, you shouldn't stop doing it. I shouldn't. I think, yeah, because like every year or every so often there's going to be new artists rising up in it. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like you've created something that like shows like what Luton's saying, innit? Yeah. Like every year or every two years or whatever, like new artists coming through, innit? You know what it's about Luton Time it gets It gets so much love, but it also gets so much hate. Mm. It, it gets like practically half and half mm. of praise and dislike. Really yeah, the hate's from the people that want to be on there. It is. I don't know where about yeah. it. It is, it is. Yeah, so, it. Think about it, think about it. If I name one person in particular, Shane guy, he wanted to go on here. Oh he didn't let him on here. 
and he's like, he put a finger on her face. Yeah, he started hating her about it. He did. And there's probably loads of people like that. I offered to fight him as well. <laughs> and he didn't want to fight me. But like, this is, this is what I'm saying now, like, because I'm not going to entertain you like that. So let's just fight. Yeah. We'll, we'll fight, one of us will win, one of us will lose and we'll go home. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like the good old fashioned days. Good old man. days when we grew up. Before we get getting stabbed. Yeah, man. Um, pretty nice day. Bitch, that hasn't fallen out too well. So. But, like, um, yeah, so Luton Time Airways, I plan to continue, or at least till 10, but you're right, I might I might continue after that. You know what it is? When you put Luton as well in your title, it's going to cause attention. Mm. Hence why when I made my first one with Flirts, I knew London to Luton was going to be a big deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? London to Luton. I'm using the tracks like London. Because I flirted his name, I flirted London, and then to Luton, because everyone's from Luton died. I don't use them to do well, and it's my ISV video. Mm. I'm most successful, like Radio DJ just asked me for it. And that was two years ago. So. Right, I'm going to give you, I've literally got five artists here, and I wrote this down last night, because I've been like busy just doing bits awesome. and bobs, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you some questions. I'm going to give you five looting artists, yeah? I want to know your honest opinion <laughs> and what you think of them, yeah? This guy! <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. I know what he's doing. Jesus he wants another five Jesus. people to send for me. <laughs> Wait, I'm telling you, man. This is going to be controversial, but it's going to be exciting. Right, number one. But what happens if I don't know him or don't listen to him? Then you just say you don't know. Just say you don't know. Just but say pass. If you're going to start naming hood artists, then so you should let him ask the question. I don't get scared. Just say pass. <laughs> Well, if you don't know, if you don't know, you know what I mean? You need to put more work in. <laughs> right, number one, <laughs> Maestro Star. Um, I don't, I haven't heard too much of Maestro's. Um, there was a song back in the day, he done, uh, was it Funds Rise? Mm -hmm. I really like that song. Okay, it was a really good song. And the one thing I said, you know what I said earlier as well? Um, I said, I'm not too familiar with his work. Um, but one thing I said about earlier about artists getting better and they work with bigger artists and stuff. He worked with K Cook. Mm -hmm. He's done a track with K Cook. That's a big look. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you think of that person or whatever, that's a big look. That's a move that a lot of people would want to make. Mm -hmm. You can't discredit that. 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? Um I've had my show on the show. Um but except for that I don't I'm not too familiar with his work. He's, but, had, he's had me in one of his videos as a cameo. That was a big look for him. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> but um, yeah. So obviously, to me, that's a big look. I remember he was doing something with Jamrock. Um, but like I said, like if you're talking about the Maestro today, I can tell you. Is he competition? I don't have competition. Oh, right, right. As in a sense, I don't see anyone as competition. Like the person that I compete against is myself. I need to be better than what I was last year. I need to I like be better. Huh? I like that. It's true. I need to be better than myself last year. Before I don't care what anyone else around me is doing. I don't care. It's not like I said. If because what's the point? Cause say everyone else around me is doing sick because I'm on local radio, then I want to be on local radio. I, I don't want to be that. I want to be on. I will tell you, I want to be on BBC every week. I want to be. You know what I'm saying? That's what I need to do. So what's the? It doesn't matter what everyone else around me is doing. All right, I got another artist, Rufio G. You know what, man? I like Rufio. I generally do like Rufio. Like um, with Rufio, like obviously I've had him. He's on the Loon Time Airways as well. Um, he's very old school. The one thing, you know what it is, he's, um, I think that's hard because I think he's, he's, he's um, done stuff with his shoulder and stuff like that, is his animation. He has no animation in his videos, do you know what I'm saying? And obviously I know that's not because he doesn't have character, it's because of his lack of, of um, he's had like injuries and stuff like that. Um, so, and I like his old school like flow. Um, like, I'll tell you what song I think he done with, that was sick. I ain't like, it's a song I would generally listen to by myself, like even if they didn't know it was Grab a Glass. Does anyone know you guys listen to Grab a Glass? Yeah, I've heard that, I've heard that one, yeah. Now that song, no, yeah. Fingers. Yeah, now you know what it is? That song's a banger. Yeah. That song is a banger. I used to play on this show all the time. Um, did it deserve more love, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know how he promotes his music, but um, I feel like however he promotes it, um, because I think that's not, I, don't, I think I could be completely wrong because it's on like 2k but like that needs to be on all the radio stations not just any the radio that needs to be on BBC that needs to be like you know what I'm saying that like, needs to be everywhere and I feel like obviously I don't know how he goes about his stuff but he, he needs to push to get it everywhere um, he might be doing that I don't know but I feel like that's what he needs to do okay. I like that um, Fingers you know about Fingers um, Honest, honestly as well you know what it is Honestly. Fingers is a good rapper. He's a good rapper. He can even kind of sing. 
I don't think he makes good songs. He, he's talented, he's talented. Um, I worked with him because he's talented. And I liked him because he, he, he didn't really drop a dead verse. He, it's not really it's not really in him. Mm. But again, that's me coming back to saying you're a good rapper, but your songs. So it's a thing he's a good rapper, but just not a good artist. I think, yeah, he's a good rapper, I just don't think he makes good songs. Um, oh, what's that kind of next one? Wiz Kid. Daryl. Mm-hmm. AKA Back in the Day Dread Boy. See, now, Back in the Day, if you talk, right, talk about Dread, I ain't gonna lie, I like Dread stuff, man. Totally right. yeah, I like Dread stuff. Um, person, yeah, boy. You know what it is? I still can't believe he was the hardest in school. He was one of them, man. Yeah, yeah I know. Because you know what it is? Like, he seems like so nice. Such a friendly guy. He is, man. He, yeah, he is. He's such a friendly guy. <laughs> he is. He is. Like, and I'm just like, how? Not but like how, but like, you're not going to fight anyone. Mm. You're a nice guy. Do you know what I'm saying? You can fight, man. Yeah, I know you can fight. <laughs> you're, bro, you're not the only one that told me. Bare people told me you can fight. You can fight, man. I'm glad I didn't make him angry. Um, now, nah, you know what? A drug boy, I like this stuff. Mm. Um, his The music that he makes now, he's very, like, he's lyrical. Like, mm. his, his music's thinking music. He always has been, but that's why I always thought the market was like, Kendricky, you know what it is? Lupe he, Fiasco. His mu- his, yeah. The market he's in is not a really it's a market that's doing well. Dead, bro. It's not. His, the music he makes, I don't I think. The music he makes now. Intellectual. The, yeah, because he, he's so smart. He's so intellectual. Yeah. You hear the stuff he says, sometimes it goes in my head because it's too smart. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But because it's so smart, the average person's not going to understand. And for me, I want the average person to understand. No, I want it to be stuck in your head. Wiz doesn't make that music. He makes music for smart people. Music's just catchy nowadays as well. Catchy hook. Like, there are a lot yeah. of dumbed down lyrics and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, 100%. You know what I mean? And also, Wiz is too smart. So, I, 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 his music's not my taste. His music of today is not my taste. He went from grime MC to like slow R&B. Yeah. It's like a, and jazz. It's completely like two different people. Now, obviously, that's just, that's just says that he's a very, um, Broad eyes, yeah, yeah, and he doesn't. Yeah. But obviously, I'm saying the style of music he makes is just too smart. Yeah. And it's not, like I said, it's not uh, a discredit. I just think there's a market for it. Yeah, no, no, but I probably agree, man. Right, last but not least, um, Nath Smalls. I want to know what Rebellious thinks. <laughs> this of guy, Nath oh, Smalls. After what happened in December, you brought him up. Be honest, bro. Okay, so like basically, I can't remember it all in mad detail because I was pretty wave myself. Yeah, but my cousin knew someone there who was having an argument outside the club, yeah. and he was getting loud. And then like my cousin, we were walking past some. There was a mixed race, mixed race boy there. We were walking past him. My cousin was being loud, talking about whatever just happened. Where we it just walked past from yeah, yeah. and then like. The mixed race boy stuck it on my cousin and said, shut up or something like that. Yeah, Can't yeah. remember, it was something like that. And then like, my cousin got onto him, like, are you talking to you, this, at the other one? And then the guy started trying to circle shit. Yeah, they all started trying to circle him. Yeah, he started oh, trying to circle okay. him, like, you know them cheap shot ones, Ooh, looking for the cheap yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. And like, um, sucker, sucker punch. Yeah, yeah my cousin, mm. like, obviously my cousin's used to fighting, and then he weren't standing around, like, like an idiot, he was moving as well. He's like, why are you circling me for? He's like, come towards me. Yeah, he was like, come towards me. He's like, do you know what happened to the last guy that circled me, bro? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I know these guys are goons, but in a fight, they'll all lose. Yeah, shit. Yeah, he said he's a boxer. And then, like, I was standing. But they didn't know that. I was standing there on the left, and I seen this other guy trying to circle with my cousin, but then he noticed I was with him, so then he allowed it. Then I see a lot of man pre in the situation, so then that's when I, like, took my cousin away from it all, do you know well, what I mean? Do you know the bus stop across the um, road to Asda? Mm. Yeah. We got moved to there, mm. and one of Nate's boys started talking to us. Yeah, he came with a bottle. No, 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 fam. Like, um, he started talking to us on the humble. Like, I don't know what's oh, going on. The, the small black The guy with the dreads. Yeah, He started yeah. talking to us, like, I don't know what's happening, because I just need to allow it. And we're like, yeah, that's calm. Obviously, while this was happening, they took Chavez behind Asda, and like they had like his arms behind his back. This it was a distraction. A new yeah. clocked. He yeah. was clocked and he ran with the bottle and got in the middle. I know the guy with the small dreads, but I'm not gonna bait no names. But yeah, yeah. anyway, that happened. Mm. And um, then obviously um, the police got involved. And then Trevor started getting into the fight. Obviously, why is that? Trevor's getting into a fight with the police. Mm. And then I'm stopping Trevor to get in a fight with the police. Because the thing is, while Trevor's getting into a fight with the police, me and Trevor can get attacked. Because while you guys, because you guys were 
embarrassed by the police at that time because mm. you all guys were in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah and now obviously me and Trevor weren't in the corner because Trevor's causing commotion with the police. I'm like, yo fam, you can't be causing commotion with the police. Mm. And it's bad enough that we've got like 20 men that are trying to beat us up. Because mm. they have bottles. They were, I said like, they're not going to fight us, they're going to stab us. Mm. But that's what's going to happen. We're going to get stabbed. You would have got stabbed, I would have got stabbed, he would have got stabbed, so would Chavez. Yeah, so I'm like, Trevor, yo, we need to start, stop making like more, you know what I'm saying? And what happened with the police, there was like, like 10 of them creating a barrier between them and us. Mm. And um, the barrier was there. And it, um, that was legit, like rebellious versus like me smooth. Well, well, it wasn't me, but obviously, you know, I, was, I heard yeah, like, like camp versus camp pass, I just yeah, heard like, it, but then I heard after, like, people said he was staring at me in the club, yeah, he was watching he was, me for the entire yeah, night. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was. Well, and, um, and he asked there, about me as well. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that yeah, night, they, they were trying to attack my cousin. But like I reckon they would have tried it with us afterwards. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, you know what it was? We sat in the club, they were something weird in the air. Mm. Yeah. They were, you know when you're in a place and you know you're not welcome? Yeah. We were not welcome. Yeah. We weren't welcome. And we felt it and we said we knew something was gonna happen. It's like fourth you like fourth side, they're like fourth side, they're very intimidating camp. Oh like I'm from the same area. So. The thing is though, no one showed intimidation. There was no intimidation. No one showed intimidation. No, Don't get wrong. Watching yeah, there was like twenty of them four of us. I've been in the atmosphere I've been in situations where when they're around you can feel the atmosphere. Yeah we felt like, it. There's nothing there's never gonna be nothing with me and them because they're family but I can imagine if you got like I don't know, any, any competition or anything, I can imagine you'd feel the tension. But I don't see, as I said that, I don't see people's competition. So, every, so that's what everyone's saying. Like, every, like you said it as well, like it's the competition. Was, Maybe no smalls look to you like your competition. You know what it is? You he got a big be, following, you got a big following. He's got, got a big, massive following. I got, yeah, a, yo, no, I got a big following, my man has a massive following. He yeah. should not even, and you know what I'm saying, I'm yeah. an arrogant guy, but he shouldn't need to worry about yeah, stuff like that. Look at it. This is new and in it, and the it's two, new, like cool. your top three in it, like yeah. obviously, names top one. You know, one. now you said that on radio, yeah? Watch yeah. another 50 rappers send for me, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, you are top three, three, like, like in terms of getting the views and known and that in the end. Do you get me? And you, you've got man like Dave Smalls and Rebs in the same place. Mm, do you know what I mean? And man, them could look like, oh, look, there's a Rebs guy. And look how it went upside down. I thought mean? one time we've been in the same place. Mm, mm. And I went totally sideways. And Trevor was saying it as well, like, yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you in the club. Would you two ever collab? We'll be, I'll be, can't now. <laughs> I know, but, no, but you never know. In the future, could you ever see a rebellious feature of Nate Smalls or Nate Smalls feature of Rebellious? Would I that have, ever happen? I highly, I highly doubt that would happen. Um, not because of what happened that night. Um, though what happened at night would have ended that anyway. Mm. Um, also, he's doing that, like, he's doing bits anyway. Uh, Why do you say it wouldn't happen? Do you think the music's too different? Oh, it's yeah, because the music cool. he makes, I don't even listen to. Like, I don't I don't understand that genre of music. I don't get it. It's wavy, man. It's wavy. I don't, I, see, now, I think that's for like, people that smoke weed. I don't smoke weed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't smoke the weed. The camera man's like, don't do his head like Yeah, yeah, yeah see, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't do drugs, I don't do that stuff, so I'm it fully... It in clubs as well. Huh? It does oh, bang in clubs. Bang in clubs. No. Even if you don't, like... It's, it's just not my style of music. To me, like, it's like... I'm just like, what? I was like, yo, can I spit like... You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. We'll ask all spit like that. Mm. So, obviously, music's changed so much. Um, it's just not my style. I don't... It's just not something I've listened to. Um, but obviously, from him, from the movements he's making, I'll respect it. Because people have even said to me, "Oh, his music's dead." Like people have actually come up to me, like legit said to me, and I'll be like, "Yo, you can't hate on the guy what he's doing." And like, I remember I told you that as well. Even after what happened at night, I was like, "You can't hate what he's doing." Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you can't. Because you've obviously, always, you've always respected him as an artist because you're obviously doing the same thing. So yeah, like, exactly. In the sense of because then obviously, because if I don't respect him for what he's doing, then I'm becoming the people that hate me. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. And then I'm the same as everyone's like, reverse right. this. Right, right. Because right. then I'm just doing the same thing. So I'll respect what he's doing. That's because I'm like, Maestro, I don't really listen to music too tough. Yeah. You know, song K Coke, you have to respect that. I respect Maestro, but I don't really feel, I don't know why I don't like his music, but I don't know. I spoke to him about it, so it's not like two bits. I'm just, it's just not for me. Yeah, but that's, see, that's the beauty of it, though. That's, and I think that's the thing. That's my opinion. And music is always opinionated. Like, when people say who's the best, there is no best. Because everyone has a different yeah, best. Different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'll be somebody's worst and I'll be somebody's best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I yeah, think that's yeah. the case for everybody. So that's when fair. so when people come along to like, who's the best or mm. the bruv, it's, it's not, the, the, it doesn't exist. That's fair, man. You know that's what I'm saying? Fair, so obviously his music, uh, if you're talking about his music, I don't listen to his music. Uh, what I've heard of it, I don't get it. I still don't get it now. Um, because music has moved into the direction of trap and drill. I don't listen to trap and drill because I just feel like the drill. Yeah. What do you not know, like? What does Rebellious not like about trap and drill? I just think it's like dumbed down music. I understand. Like that. completely dumbed down, like to another level of like 
I have to be high to enjoy it. And I don't, I don't get high. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I, I get I see my friends when I'm high. Only, I don't know the effects of it, by the way. But I see them, they're sitting back and they're, like, yeah. they're talking really, really slow. I'm like, what the f? What's wrong with you? The beat is so hard. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I like that. This is not my type of music. <laughs> what do you think? What does Rebellious think of 2018, 2018 sorry, of mumble rap? Mumble rap. See, but Mumble Rap also comes under that kind of category. That's what, it was, like, what, I don't, what the hell is going on? Like, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, what? The, what? Like, and also, I mean, and people are like, yeah, Coda Black sick. How? He's not talking English. I don't know what he's saying. I think because he's not saying anything. <laughs> so obviously, like, this is what the I'm trying Kodak's to say. Kodak's wavy, just. <laughs> That's my point. I don't understand what he's saying, but it's wavy. <laughs> it's you know, it's I grew up in Ja Rule. Yeah, I know and you DMX. Said, more time, oh, God, more time. People like, only someone. see they just get high and listen to it, and they like the vibe or the melody. Yeah, but it's I don't not get high. What it's they're talking about. Yeah, well, clearly it's not. Listen. But I'm not high, so I have to listen to what you're saying. Yeah, I understand. And you're not yeah, even speaking no, I English. You, I get you. I, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, so obviously, it's just them ones there. But like, yeah, man. But I say, if you talk about his music, I just don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, but then it's like people listen to me. You know, he's soft. He makes love songs. Uh, that's what I'm saying, mate. <laughs> uh, like, I think my favourite song of yours is that. Is it part seven? Is it part seven? What's the one when you're in the subway or in a tunnel or something? Part three. Is that part? Was that part three? Yeah, with Ellie, oh. and Zoe, and Reese, and uh, now. Yeah, that that, that's my personal favourite make way. I like that make. Oh, we're talking about make way. I think we're talking about song in general. It's like, what the? F- oh no, my little town make way one. Oh, fair enough. Uh, mine's part one still. Oh, right. It's where it all originated, isn't it? What's yours, Wars? What's your favourite loop? <laughs> the same one you're on about. Obviously, the same one I'm paying, but me. One, the one in the tunnel. underground thing, yeah. Do you know who I think has got the best verse in that? Apart from you, I'm going to count you out of that. I'll take that. I, I think, um, is it Wazy, Wavy? You know what? I'll agree with that, you know. That's the hardest verse he's ever dropped. Yeah, I like stuff. Back to the boozer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he when sounds so British. He dropped that, go back to the boozer. And everyone turns around and looks around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo. Yeah, you know what? You're right. It you're made right. man feel to go pub there and then, like, yeah, yeah. Let's go yeah, back yeah to it the made me want to go pub and get a Pepsi. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? no, no, I agree. Though. I agree. That was that was a sick verse, hundred yeah. percent. Um, so yeah, man. But yeah, that's well, that's a really time my ways. That's yeah, kind of surprising. But I'll take. I still take it. Like I said, obviously he's talking about lonely and stuff. I'm like, what the <laughs> That's a tune. Uh, what's your favourite song you've ever done yourself since you started till now? Just the way you are. You did love it. And well, you really explain like obviously the chemistry, how you met, but why? Why for you? From the heart. I I just love it. I just love I love the entire thing. I love the the song. Um, I, like I'm even bored to it this day. If you can make a song and not be bored to it to this day, you know, like you listen to songs, and you, you like your own songs for a while, but it's got to the point you stop listening to them. Mm-hmm. Just the way you are, it's not one of them songs. Mm-hmm. I love it. Like, Shauna was sick, Melissa was sick, Leo mixed it down perfectly. I remember the memories of making the song to the video. That's my first song that ever got on BBC. Um, it's the first song that everyone was giving me real love for, like proper, proper recognition. Uh, recognition. Like, people that I didn't talk to in this town were like, yo, you know what I'm saying? And, um, it's a, yeah, I just don't. I just think it can't be topped. Yeah, I know it's not my most viewed, but it's definitely my favourite. Um, obviously, my, my most successful is London to Louis and Flirts. That's like on three hundred and twenty something thousand views. And obviously, that's that's still on one extra. That still gets played on um, on radio. So. But obviously, we process with the flirts, but I'll still take it. <laughs> of course. Right. I don't know. Anything else, so, um, <laughs> Well, we've got, like, who are you going to be working with future-wise? Mm. Talk about Karen, you never really got into Karen. You know what, man? I love Karen, man. Like, I love Karen so much. I don't mean in love as in, I want to yeah, marry Karen, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I, I was talking to you about this the other day, like, even when I was talking about Karen, I was smiling, innit? Mm. I told her as well, you know what, about this girl, I with so many people, this girl, yeah, yeah, I do not care. I even told her, she's a better artist than me, she's more talented than me, mm-hmm. she's just better than me, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, she can sing, I know she could rap if she wanted to, but she could sing, she could play the guitar, she could play the piano. And you know what about her? She's so talented, yeah. Obviously she's a good looking girl, but you know what? She's so humble. She's so humble. Like, and she's so, like, grateful for when, like, you help her. Like, and she support, she generally supports you. Like, you have my friends that say, oh, Rebs, like, you're the best, I love you. Like, um, 
when you, when you drop your next song, if you don't show it, you don't show love for it. So yeah, but Karen generally does, and she will message me and pop out the blue. Like even the other day, last night she messaged me out the blue. I'm so grateful for you done. We weren't even talking. This is like three in the morning. I was thinking he was messaging me at three in the morning. I checked the next day when I woke up and I was Karen. That's love though. You know what it is? I've got nothing but love for her. I, you know what? I can't love, say, bro. and even you can't, we can't say one bad thing about her. She's, she's such, a person, she's man. such a pure person. She's like a good heart. Just a good Literally, heart. probably the kindest heart I've met. Yeah, like, definitely. And I'm you know, and what's you know what it is? What's her name? Karen. 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 Hold yeah. tight, Karen, man. Yeah, I know it. She's going to do so well. And the thing is, like I said to you earlier, she has the same hunger as us. She's not going to stop. Yeah. She won't stop. She's hungry. Yeah, and like um, I got us, I've got her songs on radio already. Like they've been sent off already, and they're still gonna play them. And um, I told them, you know when DJs are like playing them, um, I sort of told them that we'll, we'll get to listen to it. Like, can you record um, you like playing it so I can send it to her? Because I want her to know it's like she's just starting out. Yeah. And I want people to know it. I want her to know how good she is. I tell her all the time how good she is, but sometimes people don't believe it because you're probably thinking I'm just saying that because I love you. Uh, okay, if you're listening, boy, you hear that? Boy, do do your thing, B. She's sick. You're on your way. Yeah. She's so sick. Like, she I, I generally want the best for her. That's big. That's a sick. So, That's a good one. Yeah. I big up Karen, man. Jeez. I work with a lot of females, but I don't know. I don't know one more question. When's your album coming out? <laughs> That's a crazy Christmas. I'm not gonna make albums, man. No. Right, right. I was debating it, man. I was debating it, but you know what it is, man? I wrote a put out. You know what it is? Uh, how do you even put an album out anymore? Because you know what, we need to make CDs. Who listens to CDs now? You can uh, make CDs, put Spotify, stream, SoundCloud, stream, stream, stream. I know, but you know what I love about the CD? Is the copy, the cover, the back cover, yeah. your face on the CD. Like it's so like, in your hands, and you have a copy, it's like fulfilling. Yeah. But it doesn't matter anymore. No, yeah, like, you still have your cover, or, like, get me in your phone thing, people see it there. That's not the same, yeah. it's not the same. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I like to do? I still might, because I've made CDs in the past. I might get each one and put it all on my wall. Like, with the actual CD in there. Mm. And like, because that's my work, isn't it? But mm. it's got to the point, when I was first making CDs, they mattered. Now, no one does. Everything's, just, everything's like, it'll be free based, off your phone, stream. Mm. Off, the top of your, off the top of your dome, what would you call your album? Like, off the top of your dome. It has to be something arrogant. Think of something, just off the top Obviously, of your I've done 1106 AU. I've done Gemini. I wasn't quite. I wasn't once called chasing shadows like everyone behind me. Like chasing, chasing my shadows. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't really know. And like I, I would think because like I did like eleven oh six that year. So maybe like a into that or something. But I don't know. I don't know. I think if you make a copy tight as well, and people might feel like. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was a hard question. That was a hard question then. But yeah, man. So. So yeah man, alright, we'll wrap it at that man. I think we've said a lot. Yeah, we covered a lot. I right, do, we know what people are gonna say when they listen to this. You know what, I was drunk. Got to know you, man. Like, huh? I hope your fans got to know you because we'll be very busy awesome. if you've answered a lot of the questions well. Probably yeah. lost a lot of females. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, probably getting away. Yeah, and black chicks, yeah, it's not racist, bro. Trust me. Also, yeah. white chicks are not racist either. Yeah, oh yeah, and Asian chicks is not racist. I don't know any Asians in there. But if there is any, it's cool. Actually, no, Asian singers ain't gonna hold me off of what I said about my relationship with singers. <laughs> it's all bands. All for the camera. Yeah, it's all for, it's all for, the, it's all for the radio. I, I, don't, I don't fund all my singers. They <laughs> fund with me. <laughs> But yeah, my little ribs. I uh, say I appreciate this, man. I uh, thank you for thank you for making it difficult. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, man. That's a wrap. Alright.